Stop being so sensitive, bitch. You ain't no bad bitch for real. I seen you before you got your ass and titties done. Is Trina there? Trina! World, are y'all ready? You know what's up when this sound begin. We about to go in. Let's do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You ain't never seen no show like this. Cracking jokes and singing, we won't miss. 5150 up in this bitch. Yeah, you ain't never seen a show like this. Ghetto folks gon' be all in their bliss Trying to make you laugh until you piss yeah. Cause you ain't never seen no show like this Yeah 5150-2022 It's on I'm about to say some real things Hit the mic and bring the pain Cause you ain't never seen no show like this Yeah We on Hold up, let them niggas check me out You dig what I'm saying? Yeah, nigga Check me out, nigga. Go on here. Say what you gonna say, nigga. I wish I had a time machine. <laughs> Go back to the 60s, Mark, the 70s. Hey, 70s. Time machine. What they say? <laughs> they L O L. Yee hee hee hee. On the cool. Fat oh. cat hat. Fuck y'all. <laughs> Rerun. Fuck y'all. Somebody said super flag, Corey. That's Pink dynamite. Salmon pink. shirt. That's a stink pound. Pinky. <laughs> What's up, 5150? Y'all good? We in the house. We at the world famous Coin Academy, home of the Baller Podcast with the homies Lay Law, Go Mac, and Macca in this bitch. Yeah. This is the 5150 show right here. I am Corey Holcomb. This is Darlene OGOTs. That's You Know Marcus. You do. You dig what I'm saying? And y'all know how we talk shit. Y'all might as well get ready for the talking shit. You know what I'm saying? First of all, I want to thank the brothers and sisters out there in Kansas City that came to see me, man. Y'all came out, man. I appreciate y'all, man. You know what I'm saying? That little puss ass town. Y'all motherfuckers. Pepto Hokum. Fuck y'all, nigga. Y'all motherfuckers. Appreciate you, Kansas City, for coming to see me. Dallas, y'all up next this week. I got a one-nighter. We gonna put it up on again, so you know what I'm saying. Um, for the show out, on it's on Friday. Friday, Friday night, Dallas, Texas. Little Pussy Ass Theater, Majestic Theater. The date is um, I did that on purpose because Phil knew it was the Majestic. <laughs> it's Friday. Friday, Friday the thirteenth. This the MLK show, you know what I'm saying? We about to come, da, da, a lot of people be advertising shows, but they don't motherfucking really be having a show where motherfuckers gonna be in there getting a real laugh. If you know anything about the show, it's me, Tony Roberts, I got my man Kev Tate and Just Niche. It's a funny show. Ain't no advertised show, it's a funny show. Come fuck with me, cause they ain't worried about funny. They sell y'all anything. 
Hold on. The little game and channel. Look like Big Georgia Peach. <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> Peach ain't pink. Yeah, no, this is definitely salmon on the salmon side. I look like a healthy vagina inside, nigga. <laughs> if it look like this, lick it. <laughs> if it don't look like this, goddammit. Look like ground beef in that motherfucker. Put a rubber on and stick it. Anyway, fuck mm -hmm. y'all, man. Corey is the pink lemonade Kool-Aid man. Wep the boy. <laughs> Go ahead, old nigga. Black Magus. Wait a minute. Marcus' new name is Little Squinty. Yeah, Marcus can't see worth a shit. Chris Mike, Corey Hathaway. Nah, just playing OG. <laughs> just paying just paying respect to the show to save my life. Yeah, man, I get that a lot, man, about the show reaching people in a way because whether y'all know it or not, a lot of people think like this. They might not act it out. They might not say it. But a lot of people think the way we think, where we speak freely and, you know what I'm saying, we talk about different three different things that happen. Trey Holcomb say he got three tickets. That's what's up, baby. Wow. I'll see you down there. So this weekend, this Friday? Yeah. When you talk about relationship stuff that you really go through and don't be shy, you help people that are going through that shit, but they feel hopeless. Like they don't have an outlet to talk to nobody. Then they watch the show and they be like, oh shit, I ain't the only one going through this? No, we all get destroyed by whores. Oh. <laughs> That's a fact. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you something, man. I probably shouldn't, I'm not, I can't say that I'm mad, but I think I'm, uh, I got some real, real weird emotions. Somebody said, I can't wait for you to come to Richmond VA. It's coming. The Richmond Funny Bone back open. But let me go on and get into this. Look. I'm, a, I'm, I'm, I'm frustrated that the entertainment business is flooded with non-talented entertainers. Standout entertainers should be blossoming at this time of the game because the demand for entertainment is large. People want to be entertained one way or another, mm -hmm. you know, from whatever they do. You yeah. know, look at Marcus Squinton. People would pay to see that. <laughs> <laughs> they pay to watch Darlene hair grow back, everything. People want to see some organic entertainment. But I'm here to tell you, this world is so superficial, they intentionally put untalented people at the top of the entertainment game. And I just, I shake my head. Like, I saw something with this, um, um, fuck it, I can't sugarcoat it. What? They got the guy, G Gerard Carmichael. Oh, hosting tonight. And it's just, it's just, it's disrespectful because he came out and said that he prefers men. That's part of his advancement in this game. And I just, I don't not root for the brother. It's just, I don't like that people are forced the nonsense. Like there are some talented people in this world who are sitting in the underground and they've been in the underground too long. And it's time that we really grab the best of the talent for a display. Everybody comes with their own shit. Like it's some entertainers out here I wouldn't have up under me, but I like to watch them do their thing. I think a lot of those entertainers have vices that, that hold them back. Or it's not vices that hold them back, man. I'm saying like the dude who played Iron Man was a crackhead. Doing yeah, all that. kind of bogus shit. Yeah, he yeah. fell off. When people time. say it's drugs, mm -hmm. that's them trying to make excuses for who they are. Yeah. It's not. Hollywood don't care about your vice. Mm -hmm. Now, if you too high to come to work or something like well, that. I was going to say lazy, too. I was just, I was going to say some of them lazy. I like, it's, it's, usually when I'm hearing somebody, you know, uh, while I meet somebody, that, you know, when I'm coming along, coming along in the game. I figure out the reason why they had, cause someone be funny as a motherfucker, but then I start to realize why they ain't got nowhere. 
Well, being persistent can help you in this business. Mm -hmm. It I helps. Be talent any day. It, it, I don't know if hard works beat talent any day because, you know, if you don't have the talent, it shows. Mm -hmm. So it's hard to maintain. You just, uh, oh, he had a three-year spurt or a five-year spurt or something like that. Like, look at Dane Cook. He was a megastar. Mm -hmm. At some point, yeah. They, he can't sell that bullshit no more. <laughs> mm -mm. I'm I'm not hating on the man. I don't I dislike it. the man, but it's hard right. to fool people again. And I can name a few more. I, I called him out. It probably ain't fair, but he was the one that I really was like, "Wow, this guy is everything." Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, it's people who got a lot of followers on the internet. Mm -hmm. They're not good entertainers and they're not good people, but they found a way to get followers. So it's like, I'm not knocking you for who you are, but it is frustrating when I know that the tour business that I thrive in for the most part, a little bit, when people doubt the show. Mm. People doubt the show. They have places where they don't let everybody, um, they don't let everybody come in for this job interview because they're only looking for the elite, the ones that are qualified. Right. Mm -hmm. In entertainment, a lot of it has been let go though. The yeah, system they, they, pulls they, they, up those who are not that qualified. Because it's saturated. Well, I mean, <laughs> are, are you referring to the ones that got a lot of followers and shit too? It ain't just followers. Him, I'm saying like nobody knew who that brother was. Oh, talking about the rock. Nobody knew who he was. You just wondered, how did that guy get a TV show? And I was the first one said he probably got it blew open. And the show was yeah, good. Yeah, I, I didn't even know nobody. I love the I moved show. To LA. Mm -hmm. That's how I didn't even know nobody. Continue so it sounds sound like I'm hating. I might be hating if you if you look at it that way, but I'm just concerned that the culture of what I do is being mimicked by those who have no talent. It's frustrating. And then they be like, why are you worried about that shit? I'm going to tell you why I'm worried about that shit. Because tour dates this past year have plummeted. Mm. People are not coming to that shit. People are not going to that shit. Because too many untalented people that they robbed that city before, then the agents of Hollywood, they get together they get the people that's popular. It's not about talent no more. The agents are just trying to survive. Mm -hmm. They put whoever on these tour dates and the show suck. I'm talking about, it's like the show sucks and then it, it, it makes the whole thing suffer. It makes the whole thing suffer. It's just like if you got all fake Air Force Ones in Foot Locker, eventually, <laughs> People gonna be like, man, I ain't buying them motherfuckers. No, these the ones in Foot Locker. <laughs> Shit, it don't matter. The ones I had, dog, one was higher than the other. My my knee hurting, cause one one knee was higher than the other, <laughs> cause they the bootleg shit. But don't you? I mean, do you see it that way? Well, the way I see it is, it's so flooded, right? Because of the internet, you know, what I'm saying social media, all that, so-called influencers, whatever. Um, that they would that that a lot of promoters are getting are tempted just like a lot of other entities in in entertainment that are saying hey we can get a bunch of these guys at this cost instead of the one you know I know one, a promoter who got rich booking talent team. that wasn't ready mm -hmm. then he went around the next year mm -hmm. and he had to cancel so many of his shows it was ridiculous yeah because he booked those people you're talking about. Right, a gang of And then he tried the same promotional tool, driving from Houston to San Antonio to surprise my boyfriend with tickets to see Corey. Got his 5150 sweatshirt today. All right, in time. This is an attempt to make up for buying him the oh, outside ticks, thinking Corey was going to be there. The we outside ticks, thinking Corey was going to be there. Right? They robbed a lot of people Aww. using my name, dog. Yeah. Because then they have the clause, like I said, in the tickets. That's so well, sweet. we could change the acts up. 
I am doing my best to make sure nobody can advertise me anymore mm. unless it is 100. I I mean, like, you, you think the ticket people don't know what happened now? Mm. But like I said, those guys made some money that year they got away with it, mm. or the year and a half they got away with it. Let's just say they got away, away with it for two years. Man, you destroying this business, man. Or you making it hard for people to believe what's real. I think I think a lot of them feel like those followers trans, translate to uh, ticket sales. And most of the time they don't. Because what a lot of people don't realize is Oops. a lot of them buy followers in the beginning. And so it looks like a lot of, it looks like the whole fan base is their followers, but it's a lot of bots in there. And even if you got a large uh, following audience, not all of them gonna buy tickets. But if you got bots and you got, you know, motherfuckers that ain't gonna buy tickets, then it's gonna be a small portion of them that's gonna come out to see you. Well, I'll put it like this, man. No matter what, the hard working American who spends their money on a comedy show ticket, especially if it's a theater, they don't like when they get robbed. <clears throat> And sometimes they think, oh, that was just a bad day. So they might come back again. Mm -hmm. Then they see it and get robbed again. And they like, oh, mm -hmm. you ain't going to get me no more. Mm -hmm. So then the tour dates Some other people suffer, stall yeah. out. Yeah. I mean, like, this is what's happening now. It kind of helped me a little bit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it, do. it helped me because now it's verified. Oh, Corey Holcomb. Mm. He funny. Mm -hmm. I went to see him at the comedy club. Corey Holcomb ripped it up that whole weekend. So now when I come back, I think this helps. Dog, what I'm what I'm telling promoters, how much it costs to book me? At first they like, get the fuck out of here. I'm like, I ain't bullshit. Yeah. This is what it costs, Nick. You ain't got it. That's all right. I'll get to that city. <laughs> and them motherfuckers like, no, nah, fuck that. I'm like, okay, thanks anyway. Good luck with whoever else you book. Mm -hmm. right, right. Put the less funny motherfuckers on that end <laughs> and see if that shit sell again. <laughs> the less motherfuckers. We ain't got to go no further with it. <laughs> Some of them can't even sell the company clubs out and they put them on them uh, things. They, they done robbed people already. Oh, uh, man, I'm telling you, I talked to the comedy club managers, man. Them motherfuckers, them comedy club people, the people who cook and all that the shit, real deal. they mm -hmm. tell the yeah. truth. I know. Man, I'm so glad you're here because we had we had so and so here. That wasn't shit. People was walking out in the middle of the motherfucking show in Groves asking for their money back. At the I'm like, yeah, they got followers though. It's some of these motherfuckers. They get to the comedy club and they do the shit they did on the internet on stage. Oh yeah, they just do the shit they said on there. I was just about to say that I believe they I also hear my mic. that they love. I believe also that as fast as the internet helped them like become more popular and kind of grow, at the same time, it's it's gonna bring them down. Cause word gets around and people are like, oh yeah, nah, don't oh, go I see just, them. I don't see, go see them. I just seen people go on stage, right? He had go on, I seen a dude go on stage and he had a, you know, he had a host in the feature or whatever. So he had a host come up and I think he did like a guest spot or something. And then he came up as himself. And I was like, wait, the future, why the feature coming afterwards? So he came up as himself. Who was it, Marcus? Ah, it's a Mexican dude. He, he, he had a show uh, called, uh, I can't remember the name of the show. He came up himself, then the, then the feature came up. Mm -hmm. Then after the feature came up, he came as a character that he does on the internet. He did like 25 minutes as the character, because he, he did like 20 minutes as, as himself. And then he goes back in, host does a couple of jokes, and he come up as another character. Like, like this nigga was doing it's a stage a one play. man show. Yeah. But I'm gonna tell you like this. It don't matter what you do if you can motherfucking entertain the crowd. When the crowd leave your show, do they feel like they got robbed or are they happy? He was doing the same shit he do on the internet though. Terrible. But, but, but they didn't like it? <laughs> huh? it, it? It wasn't getting a... It was, it was not, they was Somebody not. Somebody say Farnsworth Bentley got thick as hell. Fuck y'all, nigga. They was not. <laughs> they was not um, laughing hard. I would say hmm. they was. You know, some people have like this. Uh, they get starstruck. Nobody you know, they, heckled they, them. They, huh? Nobody heckled them. 
No, no, they didn't heckle him. He, it was, it was, they was fans of him. You know oh. what I'm saying? They liked it. it was like so, they was fans of the guy because that yeah. happens. Uh, yeah. But when Sometimes they see him live perform, yeah. it's mediocre. Yeah. And they'll let and, him get away with it because they like him. But it's like it's it's a slap in the face to the game. But the clubs book these guys sometimes because they're gambling. They hoping that they can get the money that these guys with fans will have mm -hmm. and everything be good. But I'm telling you, people walk out of these shows asking for their money back. Yeah. And it's oh, really sure. bad for the comedy club business. It's bad for the touring business. It's, it's, it's just all around bad, man. And I'm speaking on it because, God damn it, this is how I live. I don't fuck with the other shit. I fuck with this shit. So, I mean, like, you know, I can't change the game all by myself, but I have an outlet where I speak on it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, I'm just speaking on the shit. Yeah. Other news that I really got to speak on, because people try to peg me as a bad guy. To all of the comedians that I know, I really root for everybody and I wish everybody the best. But I'm gonna say this, I probably said this before, but I'm gonna say this. Please stop looking on my schedule <laughs> seeing what city I'm going to be in that you think going to work for you. <laughs> Finding a way to get my phone number and saying, hey, I'm going to be in town. Can I work with you that day? My shit is already booked in advance. God damn it. Mac is going up the stairs and shit. Tiptoe <laughs> with some. He doesn't have Some player like, ass boots with the fur on them and shit. Go. Don't sleep on them. <laughs> I see you, boy. I see you. I don't I don't like strangers around me. So when you ask me something about sitting up being with me, understand, man. I don't do the dude nigga shit like that. And on top of that, this is what I want everybody to learn. It ain't just what I'm feeling. This is what you need to know. When you have people around you, they bring people with them. Mm. And that doubles the odds of fuck shit happening. Let me tell you what happened to me. Oh, shit. Here we go. I mean, it's just some little shit. I was able to control it, but I'm saying like, a homeboy of mine. This past weekend? Not this past oh, okay. weekend, but a homeboy of mine. And he's a good homeboy. This is one of my homeboys. He ain't a comedian. He came to the show with a bus down. You already knew him? I seen the bitch before with him. Okay. I mean, I'm a kind person. I'm like, hey, how are you? You know. <laughs> my nigga came to the show with a bus down. Pussy damn near out. The outfit she had on was a pussy peeping outfit. Pussy peeping. <laughs> Type of outfit when you walk down the street with her, people gonna say, dang! <laughs> Cause she thick as hell. She a little thick, look, look. You know my shit, I'm coming out with the song. She, she a little bear in a bad bitch uniform. If she didn't have all that shit on, it'd be there, oh, look at the little bear. But, oh you know what I'm he saying? Said it with all she was dressed in a way that is going to bring all kinds of attention to herself and the man she with. Okay? We there. This is my homie. He got the bitch with her, so I'm trying to be nice. But he didn't look uncomfortable. Really, I want to be like, how you got this funk ass bitch with you? Why are you around me? That's what I wanted to say. But I didn't, because nothing happened concrete that made me be like, man, this bitch ain't shit. Let me tell you what happened. Uh -oh. But something happened, so now uh -oh. I'm going to say it. Oh, no. Oh, uh -oh. shit. Well, at least we don't know what This is what I want y'all to know. When you got people with you, I'm a comedian, so I do comedy, but you could be having somebody with you come up to your job where well, you're a barber. Somebody come up to your job where well, whatever. This is what can happen. 
because the little bitch was half naked. No, this bitch was beyond half naked. This bitch had on a quarter worth of clothes with a dollar body. And you didn't sneak take a picture because you've done that before to people in airports. I know these people. Like, if I take a picture in the airport, I'm just acting silly. I look at shit my, at myself and laugh. I know. But I'm saying, <laughs> this, but this is my man girl. She's sitting in the, she's sitting in the green room, pussy out. Oh, man. Maybe she was working. She was hoping one of you guys would bite. You say she was working? Maybe she was hoping one of y'all would bite. Like, in other words, take No, the, I know my the, homeboy. Oh. He always caught up with a funky bitch. <laughs> always. This is my girl, man. Oh, no, he did not say it's his girl. <laughs> oh. Oh, man, this is my girl. You know, I just came to, to be with her this weekend and, you know, show her a good time. Mm. That bitch showing the world y'all a good time. <laughs> All that meat out. Monk it out. She was blessing y'all with a little bit of a little, little, little titillation. She was. She was blessing everybody who came back there. <laughs> yeah. You know how a girl have on them shorts that come up to where they they almost they, they look like drawers. They look like underwear. Oh, the yeah. booty, they call booty shorts. Boy shorts. So look, <clears throat> the little funky bitch got cold. Oh. Cause the weather changed. During the day it was hot. At night it was chilly. I'm gonna make a long story short. The little funky bitch tried to steal. A cover that was on the couch. Oh, hell. The bitch even asked me, can I take this? I was what? like, that belonged to the club. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. I work here. Don't do not do this while I'm working. And then you. the club be like, well, what happened to the cover at the club? This is the point I'm trying to make. Whenever you at your job, entertainers or Barbers or people where everybody think it's cool to come hang at your job, people will fuck your shit up. Cause it ain't they shit to lose. If the cover come up, I don't believe the club will be like, Corey can't never work in no more. Let me tell you why, cause Corey sold tickets. They could buy another cover. But I, myself, don't want nothing coming up like that. Missing. While Corey Holcomb was there. Because you're a man of integrity. I think I'm a man of integrity, but I'm saying it's just on principle. Mm -hmm. Bitch, don't bring your little funky ass up here and then try to steal. You think I give a fuck about your little body, bitch? Fuck you, bitch. I know if my boy <laughs> fucked you, your pussy ain't on shit right now. He was supposed to go. He got hope. Run out somewhere and get her something if that was the case. He yeah. wasn't supposed to run out and get the shit. Nothing when a bitch come out and she ain't dressed for the cold, the bitch supposed to freeze. Yeah. Well, that's, that's true as well. Uh -huh. If you, I used to warn bitches when I was thinking I was doing the right thing. Girl. You better get you a jacket, because I'm not giving you mine at the end of the night. <laughs> yeah. that, no, that... Now, if a bitch want to come out the house looking like a fool, showing off her little ass and titties or whatever the fuck, I'm telling you, <laughs> you going to freeze fucking with me, because I ain't finna worry about you. I got common sense. When I come out, I look at the weather, I be like, oh, it's going to be chilly tonight. Let me get a jacket. Look, bitch, man, them bitches think you supposed to be they slave. <laughs> they think you supposed to freeze because they wanted to show their ass off during the day. Then at night, you she, take off your shit she and had be to cold. Be really young. I wonder if she was she, she a young bitch. Oh yeah, in her twenties. Oh yeah. Well, cool. Not 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 saying that. Still, that's still got her her shape from when you young. You know what I? You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it ain't like when you get older and you see what happened to you. I'm saying. Ha! <laughs> Very funny. At least I had So, Cole, you don't believe in What's chivalry. What's excuse? What is chivalry? Uh, being a gentleman yeah, to the woman, like, to open the doors. No, door, no, no, that... You can't put that on me. Not on I that. asked you what chivalry, and you said chivalry is being a gentleman. That's not That's true. not being, and that's not being well, a gentleman offering, as you see how she's A gentleman is making the people around you comfortable. 
You can't make it's no- more so catering to a woman, I guess you can say. Say that again. I guess it's, being chivalry is more so catering to catering to a woman. What is the definition of chivalry? Can somebody tell us so we can get to the bottom of this shit so everybody can understand that being a chivalry, I mean, Chivalrous chivalry guy. and sucker, it's a difference. <laughs> Thanks, you know. Darnell Gully, for the cash out. Nigga sent me $25. I need All that. All right, Michelle Scales. Welcome. Michelle Scales, first time catching show live. What All up, right. girl? Scale your ass on up and get that thing be done. <laughs> uh, the sum of the ideal qualifications of a knight, including courtesy, generosity. What say chivalry? There it is uh, behind you, Marcus. Uh, he can't see. That's what. Oh, that's what. Corey the combination of qualities expected of an ideal knight, and we it ain't a knight out here no more. <laughs> <laughs> this old ass word. I'm black Especially enough. courage, honor, courtesy, and the readiness to help Every, the weak. Everybody's saying it doesn't exist anymore. <laughs> it said, "Look at that last part." It said, "And readiness to help, help the weak." weak. Do you think a woman is weak if she come out the house naked and then the air catch her at night and she's sitting there? That bitch ain't weak. She's stupid. I want to take your uh, tablecloth. <laughs> no, it was a nice shawl on the couch. It was, it was like, dope. It was like the bitch wanted to take it. Like, fuck who couch this is. I, I'm cold and I want to. Can I? She was like, I can take this, right? It was the night I wanted to be like, fuck it, bitch, <laughs> die. <laughs> But I was trying to be cool because it's my homie girl. Now, this is the second time some shit like that to happen. So even though this is my friend, I'm going to tell him, mm -hmm. please don't bring no bitch you fuck with around me. You fuck with ain't shit bitches and they don't give a fuck about respecting my job. So they will come up here and steal and think I'm supposed to shut up and let you take this shit. Did this is what I'm that, trying to say. Did Go you ahead. have a talk with him at all? No, I'm going to talk to him oh. because this happened not too long ago. And this is a guy who I like. I got love for. Hey, yeah. But he always with a whore. Only this one needed. A your, messy whore. Needed your couch. <laughs> your right. Couch bitch, cover. You bringing these bitches with you up here to see me. But it imposes on me. Hmm. Yeah. I got to police the bitch and make sure she don't steal the shit. <laughs> Because she think that because she cold, she supposed to take some shit that's worth more than everything she got on. Just you gave her you a shot watching her from that night? From I that wasn't watching it. It's okay. just God put me there as the bitch was getting ready to get up. And I saw her taking it. And she saw me looking. And she was like, oh, is it okay if I take this? <laughs> they said it's chivalry. They said shivering. <laughs> right. That bitch need to shiver. <laughs> Somebody say D was 75%. Naked on the album cover. I'd hey, but 90. D was in shape back I'd then. Say he said at, at 17. You was 17 on that album cover? No, why do oh. you keep saying that? I met him when I was technically still 17, but two months later I turned 18. D, you look good on that album cover. Uh, you wasn't representing yourself, right, but you look good on that album cover. And I wasn't <laughs> I was asking. I always, I always lived by the motto if you go out a certain way, hold your head up high, take that. Take it. I actually can't stand when I see like this. No, but look, listen to this. And they got like something small on. Mm -mm. Listen to this hypocrite. Mind over matter. Ass. Mind over matter if you're going to go out looking like that. I mean, I don't know anymore, but man, when I did, come on, let's go. Somebody say you look like Pimpto Bismol. <laughs> I, got, I got toothpaste in my hair. Uh, hilarious. Oh my God, it's all hard. Hey, what the fuck? Craig, Anyway, look. Thank you, Even Mitch though Harvey. I said what I said, I like looking at the whores. Yeah, nobody didn't. But say from a that. distance, I don't want the hoes up on me. If I purchase you, we will have an agreement where we know what this is. But just a random horse, <laughs> how you doing? That makes me uncomfortable. Now wait, bitch, we don't have an agreement. Now wait, now that's what happened to Deshaun Watson. He didn't have an agreement with them whores. You must have an agreement with whores. Girls who come to you, bust down, you gotta have an agreement with them. Now wait a second. You almost gotta be a little careful when you go to your, your dude though, you know why? Because just because you think that that's not, what if that really is like somebody he truly cares about? I don't give a fuck who the bitch is to you. Keep the bitch away from my job. Mm. Maybe I can laugh with you and the bitch if we ain't around my job. Mm. But don't bring whores 
who are looking for Vicks to my job. I get it. I get it. Come fair, alone. Fair enough. Or, you know, mm. just meet me when I'm off my job. Because mm-hmm. anybody who I bring to his job is going to represent me. And I'm going to take full responsibility for anybody walking in the door with me. If somebody walk in the door with me, they represent me, I got this. Niggas ain't ready to motherfucking take responsibility for they whores. Whatever the whores do, they be like, <laughs> <laughs> outside of that, was she was she respectable? Was she she? No, the bitch is an atmosphere destroyer. Oh mm-hmm. destroyer. no! Destroyer in so the back, rolling her eyes, looking oh, for somebody no. to serve her. But I'm saying, like, mm. oh. we try to be good people and woo woo woo, but Oof. it can't happen no more. Mm. I don't want you to bring your bitch with you if you come see me. If you come see me, you come see me. I don't want the bitches you choose close to me. Wait outside or wait, you know. In the- I mean, I'm sure everybody got a story like this. Well, they, somebody, somebody done brought somebody around you that destroys the atmosphere and is basically looking for opportunities to take advantage of people. We had that happen. It was male version, right? Yeah. And it was my birthday and they were only letting a certain, you know, if you were on the list, come back in my area. And this a girl, friend of ours, um, we didn't know that the guy who was causing trouble outside in the bigger area of the club, kicking it, dancing and stuff, was with her. She was ashamed to say. Everybody was like, ooh, that guy, some, somebody needs to go out there. Somebody, and they were telling the guys, one of the guys in my private party to go handle this idiot guy outside. She didn't want to say that he was with her. She just left him out there. And anytime anybody went out there, they were bothered by this guy. He didn't have any manners. He was, you know, groping people. He was, and, she, and he came with her. Yep. And then we found out like halfway through the club because he got a little as the club as as the night progressed, he got drunk, and he started yelling her name. We were like, "Uh oh, you know that fool!" Like hours later. Yeah, it was bad. I mean, it was anybody, bad. He got thrown out. If anybody come with me, anywhere, and they get to acting up, or acting damn fool, come on. We finna get up out of here. Hey man, I'm gonna holler at you, man. I I I, I gotta handle this. I'm gonna get up. I can't. I, I my image is good. I ain't finna let you taint my image. Yeah, well, you know what that I'm saying? happens. Mm-hmm. People fuck with me. If your attitude is fucked up, they don't want to fuck with you. I ain't finna let that fuck up my reputation. Get up out of here. Mm-hmm. Okay. And I put her out and come back. Before I, before I let up room. You say, huh? Oh, yeah. yeah I get I what you're saying. Yeah, I put it out it's and come back before I let up. Uh, I'm talking about guy or girl. Uh-huh. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh. I had it. I, I had mean, that happen with an ex. Ain't, nigga, ain't no nigga with me. If it, it's a nigga with me, it's like my family, uh, uh, a real close homie. You don't fuck you with know? fuck niggas. Yeah, I don't be fucking with no And fuck what makes it so bad? Fuck niggas get mad when they try to get up in your motherfucking circle and you tell them no. Right. Yeah. I know a nigga got caught stealing food out of a motherfucking... Oh Lord, no! In the back of a green room. Uh, oh no! And he he must not know this jacket is out there. Oh, he's known. He got caught trying to steal food out of somebody else's green room. That somebody ordered. What? He's oh a comic. God. Yeah, comic. Mm. He was around a famous comic at one time, and they caught him doing this shit. I know, no, no, no. He he he. he uh-oh. He must not know that that jacket is out there on his back. Because he always tries to act like, hey, what's up? How you doing? Woo, woo, woo. So he wanted like, niggas no, that pop no, up. No. He, he wanted niggas that pop up at the club. Pop up at the, the club. Green room. Try to act like he your people because that happens. Uh-huh. You got it, man. I'm telling you, man. I'm, you got to always I, have somebody up in there watching well, you your gotta, stuff. You really got to have security. That's right. Because the predators... Uh, are there. But mm-hmm. even your own security, be on top of that club security, because sometimes- The club don't always have security, know, even though the that's club- That's why you gotta have your own. Kansas City, they had this big ass white boy at the door, I was rolling. <laughs> he didn't smile with nobody. <laughs> that motherfucker was like, he with you? I was like, uh-uh, he with you. <laughs> <laughs> ah. I like that. Uh, oh, <laughs> if she would have tried to take that blanket or that cover, oof. Oh man, I'm saying that's just that's, that's just one incident. With my homeboy, a couple of incidents has happened like that with little whores. He be around, yeah. He be around little whores. He like little whores, and it ain't nothing. I'm mad at him. Yeah, shit. Yeah, it can't be mad. Fucking whores is very exciting. It's just you know what I'm saying. When and you got the whore with she you, she was sharing her horness. 
Yeah, when you got the whore with you, you open up that bitch wretchedness to everybody that you come around. Man, niggas gotta she learn to stand giving. on being a man, man. Like certain shit, you just don't don't suppose to tolerate. Like if I'm picking you up and you dressed inappropriate, where you displaying yourself like that, shit. Hey, but you can change. I'm finna go by myself. You ain't finna go. He with didn't me. mind, obviously. Wait, so. let's get this right. Marcus, say that again, bro, because motherfuckers need to hear that shit. If I go to pick you up and you dress in the program there where you you super revealing to the to the point where I can't stand it, look, I'm finna go by myself or you finna go up there and change, but you can't roll with me like that. Man, it ain't a lot of niggas got the courage to tell no woman that they around. You've never tolerated that. My, man, motherfucker. I mean, if he tolerated it, it got yeah. better because yeah. he just said it now. No, just yeah. by him saying it now, you no, got to stand on it. You understand that? Come around with me. Ask me first. Say that again. If, if, if they feel like if, if, if they feel like it's, it's a little they'll feel, say like, they'll is look, this okay? Is this okay? Yeah, yeah. I, I, I get respected. Okay. Yeah, hell yeah, I get respected. Shit, yeah. Okay. I don't even want to be around you. Don't respect me like that. And, and, and we trying to make sure we understand. Mm -hmm. So if a girl ain't dressed appropriately. While she out with you at this age you at now, because mm -hmm. remember, age means something. That you don't true. become a man right away because you was brought up by your mama. You learn how to be a man through trial and error in the United States of America. You don't. It's rare that you brought up as a man. Mm. You brought up as a bitch made motherfucker, and you learn how to be a man if it's in you and as you out here. A girl. Trying to be in the streets with you, uh, Marcus. Unless I'm trying to sell her, but go ahead. That's Daddy. what I was saying. That, <laughs> hey, what that last said. one say? That's what I said with that girl earlier. It's that same one. I was like, maybe she was working. Y'all didn't know earthquake was was a flaming was flaming hot before Corey said so. It's obvious to teal men. Real, he was trying to say real men. Oh, <laughs> I know I'm, I'm reading this shit. Nah, I mean like shit, man. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't trying to pile on that shit no more. That shit over, as far as I'm mm -hmm. concerned. The whole earthquake shit. I ain't mad at earthquake. I see earthquake. If he speak to me, I speak to him. Mm -hmm. Have y'all spoke to each other at all since then? No. Nah. Okay. No. Nah. He embarrassed. Oh, but yeah, I'm saying, if he speak to me, I speak to him. I ain't holding no grudge. Mm -hmm. I don't think he'll ever try that shit with me no more. I doubt if he'll try that shit with me again. He had a moment. Well, he pulled it. Even though when you pull it, that means something, especially at that age. Mm. If you pull it at that age, that means you be on that bullshit. But I ain't, I ain't walk around this motherfucker worried about that man, man. Shit, let that man live. Get that money. Get that money, boy. Get that money in the community. Anyway, Pinky from Friday. I don't look like Pinky from Friday, dog. I'm <laughs> handsome in a month. Look at this. <laughs> Stinky. Send your bitch a picture of me just like this. <laughs> your grandpa, that's your grandpa's old picture? <laughs> he looked good back in the day. Boy, you had fishing bitches. <laughs> They'd get all excited. They'd be, like, too, They'd be like, like, did you see that? Did you see that ad? Soul Train coming back. That was something I own. That was something right. I saw. Did y'all see Deion Sanders? Um... Deion Sanders' daughter had a video oh, yeah, yeah, going yeah. while he was getting his hair dyed. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and, you know, he was like, what you do? <laughs> there ain't no shame in my game. Come on in you. <laughs> yeah. Everybody know what I do? His daughter was saying, that's just like weed. Yeah. Oh, shit. Now, Wait. that's interesting. Yeah. Shit. That's interesting. That is. He colors his hair. Mm -hmm. I color my hair. Is this the same as weave, in y'all opinion? Absolutely not. No. Nah. Nope. I mean, women mm -mm. dye their hair too, so it's just, that's equivalent. They, if they dye their hair, you dye their hair. That's, that's, I mean, I said this because the same thing. Earth, I mean, uh, uh, um, Deion. Deion Sanders was saying something about her. Your hair fake, your eyelashes oh. fake. <laughs> then he pointed out, we could turn this camera around oh. and see your body. Oh. So we know she didn't have her body done, oh. too. Oh, my God. Damn, I ain't know he went that far. Yeah, he said it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Too. But wow. I'm saying, like, 
If you dye your hair, is that the same as a woman wearing weed? Absolutely. Let's put it out there. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> no, man, you got to compare shit that's equivalent, man. Weave. That's right. This nigga's wearing weave now. You think I don't know that? So it's I weed. You got to put grades in niggas' hair. I'll be like, wow. Yeah, because you, you got so you got to compare weed to weed. Now yeah. you can you can compare all that to, to the equivalents. You you're just I mean? you're just stepping something that already exists up. You're just sh judging it. You know what I'm saying? You're you're, <laughs> you're 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 bringing some 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 highlight to it, some shine. Yeah, exactly. You're enhancing it. You know? I say it put yeah, medicine altering. in your hair. Yeah, that's not completely <laughs> alternate. That's just a, it was already that color. We're not even we're not even bleaching it or dyeing it. We're dyeing it the color that it really was before. So it's trying to keep the youth. It's, it's my like, opinion that. When you dye your hair, you are not coming genuinely when you're, as far as your looks are concerned. That's you're it. not coming genuinely. Well, that's yeah. like, well, that's, that's like saying. Marcus had a weed. Fuck yeah, that was a joke, nigga. Look at Deion Sanders. Bet Sanders. me that I wouldn't do it, and I did it. You see Deion Sanders? Sanders. Don't do that shit on the road. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he, he got the, oh, he got the extensions. I don't know. I don't oh, know, he had they, to. They got no. that cold shit. They got that cold shit. I don't know if that picture real. Yeah, and and we it don't know how his hair like grows that. back, right? I don't know how it grows boy, back. Boy, he got a hell of a motherfucker. Hey, boy, if that's if, if that's what before and after, shit. Yeah, that motherfucker got him worked up, right? If he that that's weed. Babe, I need to know who the hell he going <laughs> to. Right, cause your ass, boy. I need to imagine if you ain't had to wear that hat, boy. Surgeon, boy, that's a surgery like no other. If you ain't had to wear that hat, you can face the world with pride. You know? Look here. <laughs> that, you said nigga Chad cut his hair. Huh? Chad cut his hair, you know that? Chad cut his hair. Yeah. What you you don't have the ponytail no more? Nope. The bun? He ah. got, got a haircut. That nigga forehead, bro. Oh, <laughs> my God. Chad, why you do it? But no, no, no. Let me get let me get this out. Whenever you alter the way you normally look, so you are hiding mean? something. But this is what really needs to be said. I think in the workplace, that looks good. If we're going to talk about what is what, women should not be able to wear makeup in the workplace because a lot of these girls look like they from the homie tribe. <laughs> the homie tribe. They look like the homie. So if women had to come to work, now they can put on the makeup and stuff when they go out. <laughs> mm -hmm. But if you had to come to work that's, as is. That'd be dope. Oh, that'd be dope. Motherfucker wouldn't even go to work. You can't wear nothing. You can't dye your hair. Um, I'm talking about men can't dye their hair either. When you in the workplace that's professional, yeah. you have to come as you truly are. Can you imagine how many girls would have to humble themselves? Oh man, that'll be cold. Mm -hmm. That 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 should be a man. If that was allowed, what if Oprah notable. wasn't allowed to put on that makeup and laughed on her show as she really looked? She's done it before. <laughs> 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 Boy, that grandmama game would come out. Why? <laughs> on the OG side of the game, Granny. Somebody Granny said Oprah. some people look better with all this. Of course they do. A lot of them do. Yeah, man, that'll be hey, that'll be a dope ass law right there, boy. If you, Ooh, you get if to you see him. You couldn't wear makeup to work. Cause, Cause think about it. I, if, if if a bitch try to play you, play, oh, nah, bitch, I'm pull up at work and see what you really look like. If you couldn't wear makeup at work, do you know how many times this would be said? Bitch, I know you ain't saying nothing over there with your motherfucking uh. <laughs> <Stupid>. <laughs> FaceTime while you're at work. Satchel Page face ass. If you don't get the fuck <laughs> up out of here, motherfucker. Spray bottle of water. Oh! They're, like, they're going to be like, oh my God. Right? No, they got some good makeup now. They'll go through that water. They don't still they? don't want to get wet. They still don't want the. They don't These want bitches the smoke. be in the gym with makeup on. Dude. I've Hell seen yeah. it. I know. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah. I some really bitches, only wear makeup here and when I go out. That's some of them bitches be in the, in the gym looking like a zombie. You know they wear makeup, boy. They look like a zombie in the gym, boy. And it's very be having little, them, very them eyes. Sunk in and Somebody black said, and shit. I'm like, ooh. They say them hoes that look like Miss Sophia without that makeup. Miss Sophia. Bitch, Adam I remember that. Good. Hey, After boy, if they, if they couldn't wear makeup to work, let me tell you something, boy. Sexual harassment would be almost ab abolished. 
<laughs> it'll be gold. Man. But, yo. Uncle Felsky yeah. looking bitch. Um, enhancing yourself while you alive, though, mm. it ain't nothing wrong with it, man. Mm-hmm. Don't feel like, don't feel like you evil. But I do want to say, if I can bring a hypocritical statement in, it is my opinion that people who have enhanced 40% of who they are have gone too far. What do you think about this one right here? Which one? That's a little bear. I can't. She don't look that bad, Cole. Well, the first one, she got braids in her hair. You still ain't seeing her with anything. You just seeing her without the makeup. I'm talking about if her little um, yeah, Professor Clump hair was out, because that's what she looked like. She looked like Clump. Oh, I'm flattered. I'm fatter. But I'm saying, if she didn't have the braids, that's why she was bold enough to do it. She got the braids, looking like it's, she got some hang time in the back. But if she had her little poof fro, that's a little bear. See, James Earl Moans says, do whatever makes you feel good. And I can agree with that. Do what makes you feel good. But what I'm saying is, back on the little bears, it's not fair that you do a man, and I was so glad, what was that in China or Japan, that man was able to sue that lady? Oh, yes. yeah, yeah. Because yes, when the baby Abby came like out. Thompson. Yeah, he was like, what in the, the world? The baby didn't look nothing like, like what's old girl name, NeNe Leakes? Yeah. Yeah, but she ain't having any more kids either, so. I don't think it's fair. <laughs> that man knows what he, she looked like before though. She just- I don't think it's fair that she perpetrates that much of who she is to the world. It's not fair. Oh, about to, but she had surgery though, didn't she? A she lot. had all yeah. kind of shit. Yeah. She still got the overbite. They couldn't knock her whole mouth backwards. <laughs> <laughs> but she got the big pearly whites right there. But I'm saying like, it's not fair that you can perpetrate that much of who you are. I'm talking about eyelashes. Uh, 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 mouth, uh, hair, uh, 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 titty, mm-hmm. ass. No, what else? Contact, Contact lens. Mm-hmm. Like, you got to wait on this bitch to get sick to find out who she is. <laughs> I mean, I just feel like ain't no wrong with enhancements for occasions. You know what I'm saying? But. <sighs> You should never depend on enhancements. That should never be your go-to when you going out on a regular night. I just feel like if you're going into like a ball or something like some fancy, all right, okay, put some shit on. Like yeah, but how much? What he's saying is there's a there's a there's a degree. And sometimes I'm saying, like, man, listen. There are people who almost everything about them has been enhanced. And they can't even like everything go out. God gave them. They find a way to block that and want you to see this. Mm-hmm. Almost everything God gave them. I don't think that's fair that you get fooled because I see what some people look like. Like, who a bad bitch to you? I mean, like, what's the old girl who used to be the model? Which Tyra one? Banks. I see what she really looked like. Yeah. Well, we've seen her. Now, she looked like a bad bitch when she made up, don't she? Look at that picture. God damn. Oh. That shouldn't be fair, dog. That that's how your bitch really look right there. Uh-huh. And then she looks so made up, I wouldn't I would have just assumed that she looked she that she looked terrible under all that. If I see her like that, I'd be like, No. That ain't even fair. Too, it's so. too caked up. No, nah, it's too caked up. Y'all it's got like, them y'all got them Tyra Banks pictures before and with the makeup. Cause like Tyra some, Banks is a perfect example I think of so. a woman who looked tripped out without being made up. She is a perfect example. Cause when she made up, she actually looked like a bad bitch. Bill, you made me almost choke. Mm -hmm. When she ain't made up, (laughs) Tyra Banks looked like the alien off American Day. Oh, stop. She looked like Roger off American Day. Oh, Lord. I'm telling you, homie. I, one day I saw it, I was like, God damn. You would think you got a bad bitch. Can you imagine her waking up in the morning yelling at the kids? Y'all stop running in here. You'd be like, Ugh. 
Yeah. At that point, I think whoever's with her would know how she looked. I mean, when you start, you know, like you said, be around somebody, and you see when they're sick or she like playing. She had a, a very sport. stressful life. Oh, she like she got about ten. You talking about that lady right there? She got about ten kids. <laughs> As she, was she like got them bags her under her the eyes. Mud, the mud, man. Where you think them bags come from? Her ears is dark in the back. Oh, I mean on top. This bitch got two tone ears. So I would. That's just lack of sleep. She don't have any sleep. She's probably stressed. Is that I, don't like I don't know. I'm just trying. Where did acne come from, D? That's a young girl? No, that's also probably but just, stress. But, that make, but see, what, like one like that, the makeup is so caked up on her face, I would assume it's some bullshit up under there. Well, that some bitch of us have too much makeup on them. Nowadays, the way they you, all you, you like see them, you be like, that bitch no, wash her face, she got to bleach the sink, Nick. <laughs> that scent gonna look terrible. No, I, I can't hate too much on some. Like I said, you know, if you're not, for, if they feel. See how you look without makeup on. What do you mean? You see me all the time when I'm at work. I don't. I wear do. Makeup. I be seeing D in that motherfucker. Okay. You see, I'm I trying to wear... be nice. Oh, stop! When D be in there, when D be in there going to the mailbox with all that shit. I I put post all my pictures on my thing are without makeup. I don't <laughs> mind. I don't, oh, oh, that's shit. terrible! Come on, you guys picked the worst one of her. <laughs> why is she bugging her eyes like that? I don't know why her <laughs> eyes bugging like that. No, I don't but care. I'm telling you, she got the Buka Pong eyes, boy. Them CP eyes, boy. Or right Tyra there, Banks, boy. When you see her without that makeup on, you be like, no. That bitch got a squint to look regular. <laughs> she doing that on purpose to bug eyes up. Well, they 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 found a comparison picture where Abe Abe cold blooded with it, but yeah, I'm he saying. is. <laughs> He's oh, terrible. Girl, that ain't no raw bitch. No, she needs with to with that makeup she on. Needs to she give Nick fool. his hat back. She Nick got Nick Cannon. Rat. You see how she got that thing pulled down over that forehead? That's that forehead. Hey. Jesus Christ. <laughs> You dig mm-hmm. what I'm trying to tell you? That motherfucker you know got a sent by his flash screen up that motherfucker. Right. That bitch got them. Just imagine her being mad at you, saying, stop talking to me like that. You'll be like, bitch, oh, I ain't got to you, talk Steve to you Wilcox. again. But I don't have any on. All I have on is concealer, which would get rid of those dark things, and that's it. I don't believe in the... Uh, what are they? The, 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 the liquid stuff, all that stuff on the skin. I don't believe in that. It just it actually makes people look older. D, like, we gonna, can we get you a makeover on the show one day? Where they yeah, just, D, you look like you. Look you at that wanna, forehead, boy. You want to re- do it like like a lot of makeup on me? Like have one of them ladies with the spray paint. The spray paint Oof. your face. And I've got some of those. I, look bad. Look, I got look. pictures of myself from, from photo shoots. Hold on, what Marcus say? What? She, she don't look bad. She just look. Yeah, see, if she's not bucking her eyes out, it looks. she looks fine. She look okay. Yeah, <laughs> I was waiting to see what she was oh gonna Lord. say. Like, okay, she got a little slight little mustache though. I'm, I'm people now though, the little mustache throwing off. I, I don't, I don't. And the five o'clock shadow right there. I don't there. like a lot of that makeup, even okay. on the photo. So she, so you saying she's straight for the stroke? Yeah, she's straight for the stroke. That's it, straight for the stroke. Can't brag on her though. Yeah, you could. She. On Tyra. I mean, because of her status, you can. Well, look yeah, at my bitch over there. That's, yeah. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, but who? Mm-hmm. I'm talking about people who don't know her. They're going to be, who? Oh, that little grasshopper looking bitch? <laughs> See, when I put a lot of makeup on, I don't like it. Young grasshopper. It's too heavy, like in photo shoots. D, why are you showing me the picture? It's too Let heavy. See. Let me see, D. It's D, just a lot of makeup. D, you like this. <laughs> <laughs> what? It doesn't look like another picture. That's just one. No, it does not. I'm not you like this. I am not You look not like that squinty. dude in big That's trouble in Little China Take a who was of that mad when they killed his master. His face. That does not look like that. I am you like, not. You're going to bite the shit out of that nigga. Not <laughs> squinting like that. He's doing way too much. <laughs> look like Melanie Camacho. <laughs> no, like, oh, yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> That's the whole article. They call old girl Reggie this Miller. just saying. See that picture. See that picture. Yeah, look at that. That's the whole article, Mark. It's just saying. Don't hate. Oh, you tried to show yeah, your yeah, ass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me try look, they, they, I've got plenty look, of Look, they photoshopped the shit out there. Give me a break. <laughs> Haters. They shined up. <laughs> made a <laughs> uh-huh. Let me see that picture, D. That was when you was young, D. Of course. That's when you really look Asian and shit. Well, no, they made me. They did a lot of extra. See, that's a lot of extra makeup when you, when you judge it up. <laughs> Hold on, get that ugly bitch off the screen. I don't want to look at that bitch ever again. That's what you get. Too much makeup. Too much. I don't like it. I rush and take it off. It's a lot. It's heavy. Hey, 
Don't ever put Warren Sapp up there no more, nigga. Haters. Mm. See, I, I, I don't like a lot of makeup, but they put them on you in those photo shoots. Where? What is that, that another one? Yeah, with? that's for King Magazine. Who that pit bull you with? That's Ben Baller, the jeweler. Oh. That's my friend. He, he, came, like by, he came by to give me some of the jewels. <laughs> well, see, show sitting that picture to Abe so he can, he can put it out. Which yes. one? This one? Yeah, that yeah, one. Yeah, that first one, too. See that that first wasn't one too. A, That's a side one from the King Talk Magazine. Talking about Ben Baller. He was Ben in something right there. Guy. That's mm-hmm. Ben Baller. That's our friend. Yeah, people always say they they friend. Oh, Whenever somebody say this is my friend, I already know what's up. Oh please, that's that's the friend, that's our friend, the whole. Family. What happened? You you send it to even, A? Even little eyes, even my. Is son. you gonna send it to A? What that one? Yeah. From King Magazine. Mm-hmm. Show the picture. Hater. Show the picture, Cleeter. Hater. It Show was the, the picture. It was the anniversary because I redid the photo shoot for the Power album. It was the twentieth. Look at look at Abe sent it to his phone. Ah. <laughs> I'm just playing it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Hell no. All right, fuck it. One more thing before you get into your bullshit. Uh, Darlene. Oh, this is the one where I thought mm. Marcus looked like, uh, what's his name? As me and Lisa uh, that's my. Uh. <laughs> Cole, what you driving out there? What, you got a pink Cadillac out there? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Feel wheel. Hell no. Uh. <laughs> All right. All right. Somebody said, let me say this. This is what somebody said. Dating a woman that can't control her mouth when she's angry is the same as dating a man that can't control his hands while angry. It's just a difference. Uh. It's just a different form of abuse. Hmm. Physical abuse, physical abuse versus mental abuse. Dating a woman that can't control her mouth when she's angry is the same as dating a man who can't control his hands when he's angry. It's just a different form of abuse. Huh. That's some super hell of fast shit. Because mm-hmm. she because, can't beat you with the hands. Right. So she's going to beat you with the mouth. She, she using the advantage that she got. Marcus, let me ask you a question. When a girl says some foul ass shit to you, are you ever able to let it go? I can't. I ain't, I ain't reached that stage. Say that again. Really? I ain't reached your, that stage. Really? I can't let it go. Depending well, on no, what it is. I got to like, get back. What, I got to get back. There go the picture. There go D a, in the picture. You talking about respond, as far as responding, or are you saying, like, let it go? Is, that's D and Lil' yeah. Ice. No, it is not. That's <laughs> <laughs> That's Ben Baller. That's Ben Baller. People know who Ben is. Who Ben Baller? No, he supplies. Who's gonna get Salina? Who's gonna get Salina? You gotta show the other picture though. You ain't seen the other one, dude. Uh, anyway, the one that you made the scruncho face. <laughs> yeah, I had a scruncho face. You did. You were. I was like, oh my god. No, Marcus. Let me ask you something. Like I said, if a girl say something super duper foul to you. And you said you can't never let it go. Yeah. Why do you think you can't let it go? And what would be considered super foul? Jesus Christ. I mean, there's. I mean, like, I can come up with all kind of examples of super foul shit that women say to you that is actually common. Mm-hmm. But I'm saying, like, just think of something super foul a girl say to you. D, it ain't got to be nothing specific. Just if she says something that was foul to you. Yeah. Can you let it go? And if you can't let it go, why you can't let it go? You just asking him. I was, I'll was. ask you next. Oh. If you want to answer now, D, you can. Because Marcus looks like he don't know if he want to say what it is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, no, if a man say something super duper foul yeah. to you, like I'm talking about, not that nitpick bullshit. No, I've had that. Yeah. I'm talking about a nigga just flat out say some bogus ass shit to you. Can you let it go? Yes, all the time. I don't have time. I don't, yeah. I, 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 I can actually pick and choose pretty good on what I give my energy to. I think that's what helps me. Like, <clears throat> look-wise and just going on through life-wise. Because I can't, I can't do it. I can't afford it. If that's the case, you can't go on social media. It's all going to be hard for somebody that can't put that in the right place and just keep moving. I actually just laugh. Sometimes I'm like, oh, okay. Anyway, you just you just showed yourself and I'm done. Like, I don't need to be dealing with somebody like that. But I can go ahead and just 
wave it off. I ain't dressed like Donny Hathaway, nigga. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> like this Christmas. <laughs> time, it, it depends on what you're saying. You know what I mean? Because sometimes <clears throat> they'll give you something, they'll tell you something, and then when you get in an the argument, they tell you something totally different from from what they what they really felt. So now I feel like you've been lying to me. You know what I mean? Because what you told me, what you what you said to me in an argument was something you was holding back, what you really felt. And if they apologize, can you like huh? still? You, if they apologize, no, you, you really can never that. see them the same way, right? Yeah. Like, you, what if a girl just flat out told you, Margaret, I got a nigga with hair. Like, can you let that go? Oh, you don't like bald niggas, like you say, bitch. What you want me for? Right. You know what I'm saying? Because you told me you like me because I was a, a nice little smooth bald head. You like rubbing on my face. You know what I'm saying? But oh. now all of a sudden you mad at me. Now you want a nigga with hair, bitch. You I just said I got a nigga with hair. <laughs> but then that's when you should know. That's when you that's should know. Sound that like she's that's just your preference, angry. bitch. Huh? Right. But then that's when you should know that she's just angry and talking shit out the side of her mouth because you already know how she naturally is with you. She likes that. So she's just talking shit. Yeah, you bitch, know? you bald headed with me, goddammit. Here's yeah. the thing about Corey Holcomb with shit like that. A bitch can say anything she wants to say to me. And I appreciate it. Whatever come out your mouth, I appreciate you letting that shit out your mouth. Even if you didn't mean it, you said it. Now, this is the problem with me, Marcus, Darlene. Can't unring a bell. I can fuck with a bitch that I already know is in a place mm. where there is no advancement in my life. Mm. That's the problem. <laughs> I fuck with a bitch and I know this bitch ain't gonna never advance because she did something in my mind that puts her in the non-advancement category. Mm -hmm. And when you fuck with a bitch and she knows she can't advance, she be out to destroy you. Ooh, that's that's scary, yeah. my problem. Oof, that's I can scary. still be around a bitch that don't mean me well. I know it ain't good for me, but I'm saying, you say certain shit to me. I don't know how you go get out of this category that you put in now. Mm. And most of them get mad and give up in a bitter manner. <laughs> Look at the boss niggas walking down the stairs oh, right yeah. here. Yeah. yeah. Looking like Yap Pat Koto or something over there. Yap Pat Koto. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, I like his, his shoes. I like those shoes. God damn it. Okay. <laughs> damn, them motherfucking boots don't make Go no sound. Them, oh, them no boots cost some money, nigga. Go back and coming down the stairs. Go back and coming down the stairs like you were fresh in the engine. Right. That's funny. No, you ain't got the same boots he got on. His, his cost up. more. But look, what I'm trying to say to y'all is this. When you mess around with somebody who you know there's no room for advancement, them people try to destroy you later on because really they want to say, you should have been stopped fucking with me if I can't advance, but that don't help me. <laughs> Bitch, you work at Miss Field Cookies. <laughs> I use you for the cookies. Oh, my God. Bitch, oh whatever my get God. rid of you for. I ain't never finna be caught up in love with you. You show me who you are. You show me what you're capable of. <laughs> I'm so glad you forgave me for fucking that nigga, Corey. Whatever you got to say, I'm in control. Mm. Of this. Thanks, Steve H. Steph H. For the half a yard. I, Steve H. Love the show. Keep up the gospel. Wow, Look, yeah. let me tell y'all something, man. You don't show everybody your hand. Mm -hmm. If somebody is sincere by me, I'm going to peep it. And I'm going to treat you accordingly. But if you're not sincere by Corey, you only going to destroy yourself in the long run thinking I don't know who you are. So bitches talk crazy to their mama. What makes you think they're not going to talk crazy to you? So if you're going to deal with bitches, you must have preparation prepared for disrespect. 
It ain't no way around it. They gonna disrespect you, nigga. A bitch disrespecting you, putting on a booty suit, going to the club, and you a man. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You don't get mad at the bitch. You just be like, oh, that's what you own? Have a good time. While you're setting up your future with a bitch that's worth something. <laughs> <laughs> but you can't say these hoes for <laughs> being who these hoes really are. That is. You're talking about generations of whores that they don't <clears throat> teach you in school. There are women put out here to be fuck toys. They not to be cuffed and built around. You fuck them, you, you tell them good shit, and you pat them on the back as they leave. They gonna be mad anyway. They get don't matter what you do. I don't give a fuck what you working with. I don't give a fuck what you paying with. I don't give a fuck, nigga. You ain't never gonna control no motherfucking knucklehead ass brawl. So, use them for what they worth and then get ghosts. Now, I'm not saying this is the right thing to do. What you're really supposed to do is get the fuck away from a motherfucker that ain't got no respect from you. Yeah. If a motherfucker ain't got no respect for you, you ain't really supposed to be around that motherfucker. But if you can use her pussy and her misfilled cookie hookup, do it, but know that shit gonna come back on you. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. <clears throat> is it worth it? Is it worth it? Sometimes it's worth it. Boy, them cookies be good. Oh, please, you can Phil. afford to buy the cookies anywhere. Why you got to buy the cookies eat. when the knucklehead that's bitch will bring them to you? That's a, that's a Corey, lame, the plot reason. Of them lame cookies, reason. Man. You can't <laughs> <laughs> what? You get expensive. You're like a weed habit. Do you think Marcus will ever <laughs> break up with a bitch who work at the hair follicle implant? <laughs> Corey got a feed. It's not going to happen. He got a feed habit. That bitch no can talk habit. crazy to him all day. As long as she bringing them little hairs. <laughs> That they blow on your head with glue. Marcus ain't finna stop fucking with that motherfucker. Corey, is that supposed to be a turtleneck? See, that would be a cute outfit. I would just put a, I would put one of those shackles. That nigga got an elephant neck. That nigga. Somebody said Corey dressed like a tongue. Fuck y'all. What is that we're looking at? Somebody said I look like a bouncer at Excalibur nightclub. What is that, Abe? Hey, Corey. Hey, Corey are trying. Let me read that one thing. Hey, Corey are trying. Signal the Hollywood, the Hollywood, Hollywood elite. With hey, the pink Corey, attire. are trying signal the Hollywood oh, he elite types too quick. with that he pink attire. Mm -hmm, it ain't come out right, Hurt Channel. He got some thick thumbs. Right. <laughs> well dressed, fancy bulldog. It's Texas. Man, I'm from the shy dog. We don't just make black, gray, white. What is that? We make you, all kind of colors, dog. Are you Corey? I sent. Oh, that that is shit. That's you know? that your girl right there, Gina. Oh, that's saying Gina passed the Holcomb will be in Phoenix January 29th. That's what's up. That's what's up. What did they say? Corey, I sent you enough for a Popeye's meal after <laughs> the show, and Marcus armpits got my house flooded. <laughs> Josh, my, something like that. Uh, well, how, how, how do you, how do you pronounce? That. What is it? Moscow. Are you doing that just to put a butt above my head? Hey, how you pronounce that last name? <laughs> What Moscow? Moscow. He said Moscow. He think it's Russian. <laughs> it might be me. <laughs> Josh with the fucked up last name. What Moscow. up, nigga? Good looking out. We don't know how to pronounce I'm that shit. I'm missing something. No, I don't know what that is. D, you're missing a oh, lot. You just, now, what you talking no, about it's now? it's been up. This picture's been behind us this whole time, and I was like, what is that? I'm missing. Who is, Who is that? I don't know. They had a, I don't. A bus down. What? That's a bus down. D mad because she dressed like that. I used to back in the day. I love Boy, that. was a little bitch freezing at the motherfucking improv last night. Well, I would not be freezing. It was wet outside. I do mind. That bitch had on some motherfucking flat sandals. Like Wait, she was what? about to. That bitch looked like she was about to fight with a old boy in the 300 army. Wait, somebody had their feet exposed in the. In the rain. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Marcus, you saw him? <laughs> uh, 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 little light skinned, big no. head girl. Oh, it was here? No, oh, last night. That's what I'm saying. Tom, the Tom, a couple of bitches got caught out there in summertime outfits. <laughs> Me. Oh. All I'm saying is, 
Bitch, it's, it's, it's wet outside. Thank you, Tony Crane. Her feet was wet in front of the club. I was laughing at her. I was like, bitch, you gonna get no more. Yeah, yeah. Did, were, were they Crocs at least? I mean, the, the no, these were some flat sandals. Like leather? Like Leonidas had on in 300 when he fought. <laughs> Leonidas. Calm yourself, Zach Sauce. <laughs> Those are wind times. She only wore them last night. That's it. Man, I couldn't believe that Thank bitch came out the house like that. Coming. Oh, that's man, sweet. Man, be crazy, man. Thank you. That, man, that whole life is different, man. They will come out in zero degree weather. Corey looked like body my, out. Corey looked like my uncle who's stuck in the 70s. Boy, I look good. Don't blame it on the sunshine. Don't blame, blame it on you the look good like night. Guitar. You come with a good guitar. Times. Blame it on the boogie. Gay niggas want booty. <laughs> anyway, ladies and gentlemen, we can't avoid it no longer. It's just inevitable as we have such a burst of momentum going. We have to slow things down for these loose talk, talk about, about bullshit. Yeah. Thank you, guys. What you got, D? <sighs> what up, Lil Rock? Oh, sorry. I looked over at Corey, caught like a little glimpse. With the Corey, what? I looked over at you and I caught this glimpse. It made me laugh. Oh. <laughs> she got one in. <laughs> anyway, mm. the Delphonics. Uh, <laughs> um, so you remember that whole, that, that duo. Okay. Uh, Diamond and Silk. Well, uh, Diamond, mm -hmm. her, her real name is Lynette Hardaway. Yeah, you already know. I know that sound. <laughs> of the pro-Trump duo and Republican supporter team, of course called Diamond and Silk. Anyway, Diamond passed away. And although most are saying it was due to COVID, the reason has yet to be announced. Um, but the ex-president uh, posted on his social media, our beautiful Diamond of Diamond and Silk has just passed away at her home in the, in the state of North Carolina. Uh, and Silk was with her all the way into her passing. Uh, there was no better team anywhere or at any time. Um, Diamond's death, that's what he said. Diamond's death was totally unexpected. They're, they all say friends and family. And um, he said, <laughs> Trump said, it was probably her big and precious heart just plain gave out. May she rest in peace, our magnificent Diamond. You'll be greatly missed. Um, now on their, the duo's uh, Twitter account, that means both Diamond and Silk, um, they mentioned, you know, her passing. They didn't say how, of course. Um, they did, though, mention uh, if you want to contribute towards what's interesting is didn't say for what. Normally, families or people <laughs> like that might say contribute to either, you know, maybe her services or maybe some sort of foundation they might be trying to start for her. Didn't say anything. It just has the information if you want to contribute, but towards what? I don't know. Um, <laughs> yeah, so... But anyway, it, it did say big as daylight, though. It said this is the only place accepting donations on her behalf. So they don't want money going to the wrong place, that's for sure. Well, it's going to the wrong place anyway. Period. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I, yeah. Well, I guess diamonds ain't forever. Oh, but anyway, yeah, so she's... I don't know what happened to the sister. I pray for her and her soul as she was part of whatever she was part of that wasn't something to be proud of in my opinion but i don't be walking around you know somebody passed what can you do yeah i wish you I, 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 may your soul rest in peace my sister they said she that, was that trump shit was they said she, shit. she they was said. uh in the hospital um, they said back in november minute. yeah yeah for a minute and then she tried to take the shot while she was in the hospital <laughs> They said she took a shot. You know, I mean, I already be knowing what happened to these people <laughs> oh. when these people be like, hey. I be like, oh, she took that shit. Damn. <laughs> she that so shit up in them. She spoke it. They be like, they be like I got it. Okay, I got it. <laughs> kind of. Anyway, that's terrible. But anyway, um, yeah. You so better she, make sure you go out here and get your. <laughs> and speaking of Republicans, <laughs> the one with the uh, do it matter? <laughs> I was gonna say with the glasses they both, like the, the one with the black on, the one with the black <laughs> on. Look the well, they're though. sisters. They're actually they're like sisters, twins. Apparently, there he is with them. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Mm. Like it's certain words you can't say on the internet because I know you get flagged. Yeah. But they just. I mean, I was so I felt so bad that they would play themselves like that. But for the for the fame, they did it. They did and, it. You and know, it's like they made a lot of money, but was it worth it either, too? So do it. 
But speaking of Republicans, here we go. So <laughs> what about what about how on TV? I, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm gonna let yeah, you say it. No, no, but on TV. When when my good brother, I mean, uh, unfortunately, the brother from the Buffalo Bills, he he fainted on the field and he had that. Family. And how they was just saying this is the first time they ever saw that. Just don't believe the hype, y'all. <laughs> they see this all day long, all day long. I wish I could save everybody, but I will try and let you know. Population control is real, homie. It's real, yo. That's all I can say. It's real, yo. <laughs> You'll see. Good. I'm good. All right. So speaking of Republicans, uh, Dr. Dre threatened Marjorie Taylor Greene. That's a Republican congresswoman out of Georgia. Um, they his lawyers quickly sent her a um a cease and desist because she was on her social media using Steel Dre, um, as she was trying to promote herself, <laughs> and in that. and in the letter and in the letter it says um, uh, Dre's lawyer quickly also issued the letter accusing her of wrongfully exploiting his work to promote herself her divisive. They put in the letter to her her divisive and hateful political agenda. The letter also said that Dre would not and never ever grant her permission to broadcast or designate any of his music. Um, ending that we're writing it also to tell you that a lawmaker should be making laws, not breaking them, demanding her to cease and desist, right, for any further use. Well, <laughs> look at that bitch maker. They even gave her they even gave her a date and time, which is interesting on cease and desist. So it just it, it said by five o'clock, January 11th. Well, that yeah. broad quickly removed the video. But ooh, that one, she, <laughs> she was like white girl. She clapped back. I, I wow. She she, she quickly movie. took the video down and she clapped back saying, uh, and now of course her her post is deleted, but you can find it on the internet. She said, "Oh, well, while I appreciate the creative court of progression, I would never play your words of violence against women and police officers and your glorification of the thug life and drugs." Yeah, she tried to come back she after did. she after she after he didn't do what she wanted him to do. Then she tried to shit on him and act like he was. She foul. sure did after you. And why were you were you still using his his music? She's a she's that bitch makeup don't look real. That bitch look like I thought she like white girls. Remember uh, Sean and Marlon was playing white girls. <laughs> she looked like the big dude on Apocalypto who was fucking everybody up. She, 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 she's mad they got her and they put it out there too for them to see. So yeah, so she yeah that bitch got that. Uh, she, she got a real yeah that neck is super. That, she, she got, got a superhero respond. jaw. She was like, she was. Mm 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 mm. Every time she walk in a room, superhero job. They dipped her in a fire from neck down. They Somebody <laughs> said her neck messed up. That's <laughs> Um, so Aaron Hernandez, you remember him? No. The football player. You got the one. The, the, the one killer. that yeah, that, that killed his people. That was you know in serving his time in prison and then hung himself or whatever. Um, so his lawyers have now made it public with, with their complaint because they're saying that his baby mama, Shayana Jenkins, is being accused of mismanaging and misusing their daughter's trust fund. That's everybody who get money in their <laughs> kid's name. And he's not around, so yeah, uh-huh. She so so she's right now they're trying she's trying to put out there for the public to see, oh, I'm actually just trying. Like, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Look at that, look at that forehead though. She's now with somebody else. I don't think they're married though. And then they have. She had another kid. So, she, who knows? I mean, but. she done moved on. Hell. Yeah, of course. They didn't expect she was gonna do that. No, but spending the money. I guess he's in charge of it. And he put. They put the lawyer in, and the, that was in his charge wife? of her. Uh, if you could take that mama. hair Maybe off and just look at her face, if you could take the hair off and just look at her face, this is the Toxic Avenger. She got a big face, but. She's straight for the stroke, though. She's thick. Look at that. My bad, Marcus. I forgot. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> you're oh, stupid. Thick, what an undemanding male That's... you are. No. <laughs> Look at her. Show Marcus that. Oh, shit. See, you nah. can't see that. God, you damn. can't see that. Yeah, that I, with makeup. That's with makeup. I she saw does. that right there. Good God. Them bitches can't fool me. That man, I see how you look, bitch. Makeup fucked up. Anyway, yeah, so we'll see. That's Big Poppy from Boston. See what happens with that because now she, she's so mad, city. she's asking for 
someone else to be in charge of the trust. Mm. Man, ain't gonna be nothing left for them kids by the time she get through with that. Oh, yeah, yeah that's right terrible. That little child. That's terrible. Somebody say Toxic Avenger. Look up Toxic Avenger. It's a movie that came out in the, I think that was the uh, 80s when Toxic Avenger was out. I remember that, yeah. What's that guy? And um, of course, you know, all the follow-up news, everybody's still waiting on a really more in-depth interview with Brittany Griner. Um, but the latest thing, of course, people were talking about a week or so ago. I vape as soon as I got home. Was why she cut her hair off. Um, a Whoa. lot of people, Brittany Griner, they were speculating, you know, when she got back home, she didn't have her hair. You didn't notice she had a, a cap on a beanie. And people were speculating that, oh, they made her do it. No, she claims that she had to cut it off and she only cut it off two weeks before she re was returned back to the States. Um, they probably she had said, mad it. No, she said it was due to freezing because when you when you 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 can't just sit there and dry those uh, dreads. So she would she would shower. She said she said it wasn't she wasn't forced at all. She said it was the climate in Russia when they moved her to that other camp two weeks prior. She said it was so <laughs> cold they would have froze. So she she cut them off. So she's claiming no people. Everybody was speculating and saying she's cutting no. off too much shit. Dreads, titties, anything oh, just cut. Oh my lord. So she claims, don't worry, you know. What you smoking, she my chose nigga? to do it. Yeah, it's all gone. Did she burn the end? Wait, what? 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 Oh, Brittany Griner smoking jokes. Can we get like five in a row? Oh, my God. <laughs> she, she got stoned up in Russia. <laughs> Nobody got that? No. <laughs> uh, no they blow the hair out. <laughs> <laughs> we got two more, y'all. Come on, yeah, three more. Look, oh, yeah. it's gonna be weak. What? He's making you come up. <laughs> you the other comedian in here. Come on. They were smoking she that pussy in jail. They were smoking that pussy in jail. I told you it was gonna be weak. No. Oh. <laughs> she should have just blew her hair out. <laughs> no. <laughs> We got one more. One more. Why don't you more. look up there? They're going to tell you. Come on. <laughs> the chat They're going to come with some good ones in a minute. A Brittany Grider. A Brittany Grider. Bronson. <laughs> Somebody say she smoked her competition. <laughs> she got chopped. <laughs> they say she smoked the locks. <laughs> Lord. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid. Oh shit. Man, she really look like a little boy like that. God damn. She got cut from the team. Poor girl. Uh -uh. I be worried. She's been about through her. a lot. That's a lot to go. To I think she's gonna do something to herself. No. She's be... Can you Don't imagine standing that. up in front of the mirror naked, flat chest and a pussy? That ain't good. Flat chest ball here with a pussy. <laughs> when she get out the shower, you got to look at herself. Long feet, man voice. Did y'all wash some towels? You know what I'm saying? Damn, all she can do is dunk. I be worried about her, she man. Can't dunk, can't she? I mean, she go, she go do something, man. <laughs> just, just imagine that. Like when you walk in somebody's house and they be like, oh. <laughs> and if she did do something to herself. Damn, that'd be a Just way. imagine when she bleeding and she reminded if who she, she is. That'd be a, if, that, if she did something to herself, that'd be a waste of a trade. Be a waste of a trade. Ain't a trade for nothing. <laughs> Don't listen to them, Brittany. They joking. Now she no, I'd like, be worried about her because no she matter like what. Roger. You was talking about she look like Roger. <laughs> she look like Roger. Look like Roger the alien. Yeah. <laughs> no, but on the real, if you really just think about what she go through getting out the tub <laughs> six, eight with a pussy. You no. It ain't it ain't no easy shit to live through. When you six eight with a pussy, just imagine you washing your pussy and you six eight. How do you know no how she just as long as a tub? Can you imagine putting a tampon in and you six eight? What does that have to do with that? <laughs> it's different. You can can you imagine just say fuck it, I'm gonna go get some dick. What if she said that? And she was in doggy style. Can you imagine what that doggy style would look like? 
a bitch six eight getting hit from the back. Just think about that. Think about that foot hanging off the bed. Be Just like, think about that. It was like looking like a, uh, looking at a real live grasshopper from the back. <laughs> you got to hop in that foot. She go. I'm so they worried said about her. Like, they said you're dressed like her womb. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, all right. Go ahead, D. No, we'll just pr we'll pray on that one. I don't want anything happening to her. Don't give up. Keep washing that long ass pussy. They hating Brittany. Anyway, um, what if a pussy bushed out with hair? Can you imagine how it look at six eight? <laughs> <laughs> They're all pretty tall, right there. God, they like <laughs> she like walk a flock of flame. Just you imagine her naked. Talking about get in here and fuck the shit out of me before you go to work. It, it won't happen. She she got to eat pussy. She got to. Yeah, she's gonna slam you she's on the She's married to a woman. She don't mind. She's gonna slam you on the bed and fuck you. Why you don't eat it from the back? Bitch. <laughs> oh, I just caught that one. Oh, I shouldn't have looked at Can you up. imagine when she's shopping for pants? <laughs> Can you just imagine in the big being tall? a girl shopping for pants at six eight? Big and tall section. It ain't not. They ain't got nothing built like that, dog. It ain't nothing built like that for a woman. You think she got a little waist? It don't matter if she got a little waist. She longed in a month. Can you imagine in the bed cuddling with her and she put her leg up over yours like this? You know how a girl put her leg on yours? Mm -hmm. And that foot twinkling? Now nah, that foot gonna be on the floor. <clears throat> anyway. Poor thing, don't do nothing to yourself. Y'all laid up. Just she, be strong. God put you here for other purposes. Y'all laid up. He she put you in here to get light bulbs out of the motherfucking socket when they blow. Y'all laid up. She gonna be stepping on the floor. Right. <laughs> God put you here to see what's on top of the refrigerator, baby. Don't worry about it. You got purpose. Okay. You done? Let me know. They call her She-Hope. She, she washed the top of SUVs at the car wash. Look at her face she next to Kobe's. She's she <laughs> taller than Kobe? Hell yeah. Of she is. God damn. Dog, I'm telling you. She decorate the top of buildings. You can't help but smell that pussy when it's standing in front of her. You be like, God damn, you pussy by my nose, bitch. Shit. I'm a vape it. All right, my bad. All Go right. ahead, D. Uh, so bless his heart. Oh, El, what'd you do? Anyway, El DeBarge was arrested again early Sunday, uh, this past Sunday for- uh, oh. These drugs are waiting. Go ahead. I can't. Fuck, I'm gonna just shut guy. up, D. I'm gonna let you get it off my back. Oh, bless his heart. Anyway, he, he was he's 61 years old. He was detained at 3:40 a.m. in Burbank while he stopped at a gas station. Now here's a lesson, everybody. Have don't roll around with your shit out of order. So allegedly. The police, Burbank police, noticed that his tags were way expired. Then one of them, as they walked up to the car, noticed an expandable metal baton, which is an illegal weapon here, inside the vehicle. It was plain sight, they said, leading them to do more now, search of the car, of his car, and that's when they found, allegedly, suspected narcotics and pepper spray. Um, all well, was just fucking with him. Also, on top of it, he didn't have a valid driver's license. So, I mean, but I'm just saying, do, why take that chance? Make sure you're, you're you're rolling around with your shit in order. Who's Johnny? <laughs> I knew like Chris Brown did. And as you know, what this isn't good because back in 2008, he was arrested. Of course, back then for narcotics and served two years in state prison. But he also allegedly had. I think I think it was I don't know if he attacked a guy, but he used some sort of a metal whatever, you know. I don't think it was the same thing, the extended um, metal one, but it that's not gonna be good because that they're gonna bring that up. And I was gonna go see him on Valentine's Day, Elder yeah. Barge and Stephanie Mills on Valentine's. Dang it. But look, this was not fair. He's got something to protect himself. Who cares if I mean like why why are you acting like, like this that. guy's walking around um, doing something. I'm not sure what his criminal history is. I don't think that he, yeah. But this is why it ain't cool to motherfucking do nothing to nobody if it ain't really shit. Like, you know, of course, it was people saying, why you didn't hit so-and-so or whatever? I'm like, because I'm saving that for when I do what I do, goddammit. 
it's going to be some real shit on there. Because mm-hmm. see, like, I don't, people who got shit to protect themselves, the way this shit is going now, he's mm-hmm. L. DeBarge. What if somebody notice him? That's true. Yeah, you definitely. It should be an exception for entertainers. What I if a big swole so. nigga walk up to him and say, sing, nigga? That would that should make. What sure. if Britney Griner try to make him fuck? Oh, he need that not, thing. Yeah. Okay. <sighs> fuck me while I vape. Anyway, <laughs> I I think they they were able to bail him out. So his folks, so his people bailed him out. They should definitely make an exception for targets. And I hope he's still able to perform. He um, gonna be able to perform. He gonna get bailed out. The pr- pr- promoter will bail him out. Yeah. Good. That's true. You can't no, he just already is. He's out though. Leave guys, him so. in jail no. on no sucker shit because he had a. A, a thing to protect himself in the car? Yeah, because they want to I mean, the narcotics, the they're they going to charge him what they charge him with. But I'm saying, like, yo, man, the man, look, man, if you ain't fucking with nobody, you need protection out here. Mm-hmm. He still Because the people good. who own bullshit, they got something for your ass. Mm-hmm. Anyway, oh. so I, I hope the best for him. Somebody say he had the secret garden stash. You know what? I can't. I love me some L. All the Somebody time. said he too light skinned for this. Go L, you'll be all right. We got you in our, our, our prayers. Okay. L be on this shit, man. Let me tell you something. He can still hug, man. You seen that Tiny Desk performance? Oh my God. You seen what performance? You you don't watch any of the Tiny Desk concerts? The live What's ones? the Tiny Desk concerts? Oh, you got to look them up. Of course, yeah. I don't know about He does the Tiny Desk. No, it's- I'm saying I seen my man singing one day on the internet just sitting in his room. Well, and this- he sounded just like he sounded That's what I'm on saying. So the so the, those those Tiny Desk ones if you look them up, that's what they're the people are putting that position where you you are there to just perform. You perform little, right. Little you, yep, you're right in a little room, in room with a little tiny I ain't little up on it, but I saw my man sing. He sound good. He, he sounds sound great. just like he sound like he sound like the studio version. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. So we'll keep you oh, in our prayers. Uh, <clears throat> Usher, um, it was a Usher's was meme. great too. Yeah, it was. A, Ooh, Jasmine Sullivan. It was going around. He was what happened when, when Usher did that? Uh, what song? The Superstar. It was going around the internet. He was. That's what he was doing. Oh, trying days. to read. Uh huh. He was doing that. You said that face that nigga made. <laughs> exactly, M. Moses. No auto tune. I wrote Usher a song. I hope he just fucking give me a chance. You wrote him a song? Oh, I wrote shit. Usher a song. Oh, my God. Oh, please, no. He's fucking with us. God dang it. I fell for it that quick. Don't let the barber use the clippers after me. That's what I was. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, ZJJKJ. All right. Anyway. <laughs> That's it, D. Yes. Dead ass, we hope, motherfucker. Oh, who's that? Usher, Usher when he did yeah, the tiny desk. It. So they do it. It's like in this, like, like a, like a, it's like a library and stuff. But they're really good because they put them on the spot. You gotta perform. It's it's all live. It's all great. That's what's up, Usher. Mm-hmm. He's back again, by the way. He got another year, another residency in Vegas. Oh yeah, Usher got another residency in Vegas. It was people mm-hmm. going to see Usher yeah, out there well, in sold Vegas. Yeah, out God last damn. year. Yeah, he's back again. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, that was terrible. I heard he gonna do the bump and puss tour. <laughs> Brother. I don't see nothing wrong <laughs> with bumps that's leaking lime juice. No, just fuck around. Mm, yeah. We got motherfucking top flight security in this bitch. <laughs> My nigga over there. What up, baby? <laughs> he been fucking with us a long time, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we, oh, yeah. I always forget his name. That's why I be so embarrassed. Who, Kevin? What's I mean, his name? I'm not Kevin. Oh, shit. Uh, e. E. E, you want people to see you? <clears throat> e, you should come on the show. You, wanna, oh, you don't you want to? If he, he, oh, he's he shy. He's shy. He's shy. He's I, just, I mean, like, he's it's like, Eddie. And These it, people we've been seeing them for a while now. You know what I'm saying? They yeah. like they like cool. We That's appreciate like you, man. Yep. He holds shit down. Goddamn it! Mm-hmm. Got motherfucking big Phil up in here too. Goddamn it! Phil looks scary to niggas who know he gonna get tired. Wait, what? <laughs> I mean, they don't know he gonna get tired. <laughs> Phil a big boy. That's Phil, a hell. When you fight them real tall niggas, boy, that shit you cannot. 
go toe to toe with him. Oh. All y'all niggas who don't know nothing about fighting. Oh, that's the next Phil show. look like the nigga that come get you when you die. Don't go, right, you talking about an undertaker? <laughs> a grim Reaper. Wait, a wait. Grim Reaper. <laughs> wow. Happy belated birthday, R. Kelly. I be listening to my R. Kelly music, man. I be bumping that shit down the street. Some people be like, and I be like, Usher remixes. Oh, I, I hate when they do that. When people you know that? start giving you looks about even Michael Jackson. I'm like, uh uh-uh, uh, no, I'm gonna play my Michael Jackson. Man, Don't I'll you play ever my tell me. Michael Jackson. Hell Have you yeah. ever seen, y'all seen them videos online uh, with Michael Jackson dancing? Man, there wasn't nobody doing that shit like Michael never. Jackson. Dancing or singing. Who the, Come fuck, on, who the fuck you get over Michael Jackson dancing? And Nobody. singing and holding notes and all that. Right. Never, had a, never had a breath. None of that. He was. Yeah. Do you know what you're talking about? Mm, you know what? When the niggas be blowing. Look. <laughs> Cut it Hubble, out. Bubba, Come Hubble. on, Soul Train. Hubba Bubba okay. Hokum. <laughs> fuck y'all. Soul that Train. Was 85 Lady Legit. Hubba Bubba Hokum. I feel you on that one. <laughs> we said. Somebody said I got that, on an Andre 3000 starter kit. I sent you Rambling a Ram. Corey tonight. What happened? Hmm? You sent a picture of me? <laughs> I sent a picture hmm. a, to Abe. Oh, no, Corey. he go to uh, show That's for the this, show. this Friday, dog. Damn, I look tripped out in that picture. Oh, Tony yeah. Roberts said, fuck it, he going with that hair off, god damn it. Just niche, got them titties out. Mm-hmm. My man Tate. That's a good. That's a good um, flyer. I like that. I think the people on the show are funny though. Mm-hmm. They, like, are. they definitely are. I'm saying this is a funny show. This ain't that show that's <laughs> all like, way through. You know what I'm saying? It's a, it's a motherfucker who had a favor he needed on that show. <laughs> Wait a minute, I still got my glitter glove. I still got my glitter socks. Shit, I, I want to buy me a glitter glove. Now that I think of it. I'm going to wear that on stage Friday. If they got one, I can order. A Look at that Donnie glove, Hathaway yeah. picture. <laughs> there go Corey tonight. <laughs> I don't look like Donnie Hathaway. Uh-huh. Hey, 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 go down. What the $20 motherfucker talking about right there? She just talking about last week. <laughs> Talk about Dana White slapping his wife and getting the pass by Stephen A. Smith. Homie, we already talked about that shit, man. Yeah, we talked about, about, about it last, last week. week man. Oh, but we didn't know about Stephen A. Smith's take yet, so I hear what they're saying. Hey, man, Stephen A. Smith, a. Smith worked, for the, gave him a pass. worked for, worked for the motherfucking beast. Stephen A. Smith is going to always take up for Jerry Jones, Dana White, all them people like that, man. Mm. He got to look at himself in the mirror. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It's going to come back on him real good. He had an old boy on there. Uh, the motherfucker who one of the greatest receivers of all time. Except he a dope <laughs> Which one was that? Irvin. Man, oh. when I saw that motherfucker, boy, Michael Irvin be sweating on that motherfucker. <laughs> Leave him alone. <laughs> and Stephen A had him acting like, like they did some little skit, like where Stephen A was like drill sergeant in his ass. It was funny to me because I was like, damn, I can't believe Michael Irvin let this shit happen. Mm. <laughs> but I root for Michael Irvin. Yeah. It's just when I be seeing him off the chain on that motherfucker, boy, I tired. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga go. Well, he the playmaker. One of the greatest ever. Yeah. One of the greatest ever. Look, that's a light sweat. <laughs> oh, whoa. What's going on? <laughs> no, that's on? a light sweat. That motherfucker be on there wet. Look like he in Florida preaching outside. Some people just perspire mm-hmm. like that. That's all. Marcus ain't saying hey. shit. He, but hey. he doesn't do it all out here. That's what's interesting. It's not like his face. It just hit his armpits and shit. That's that tree chopping sweat, boy. <laughs> <laughs> he just yeah. like inside of a shark pussy. What's the old boy who chopped down trees in the, <laughs> with fairy tales? Oh. <laughs> oh. Who we forgetting? Little, who, was it a little, little? Who chopped down trees in the fairy Johnny tale? Johnny Appleseed. Johnny Appleseed. <laughs> was it Johnny Appleseed? Who chopped down you guys tree? remember those fables? <laughs> that was who? George Washington chopped down the tree. Jack and the Beans, though. Remember that? He yeah. Down yeah. The... That's Marcus, goddammit. We going <laughs> Look at Jack Corey and... being all, all around kid. What? I grew up, motherfucker. I'm no, all all these Paul Bunyan. No, he really? climbed the Paul Bunyan. Oh, Paul Bunyan. Stop idolizing that? tall people, Marcus. It's, you can't do nothing about oh, it. Oh, he's no? reading that's, the. He's reading the. No, that's. I, I was trying to think of it, but that, they were uh, Paul Bunyan. You know, like took, you got on your feet, D. What? Bunyan. 
<laughs> I don't have no bunions on my feet. I see Matter of fact, FYI, feet. I'm getting my content. Do you ain't got no bunions on your feet? Nope. And I, I'm getting my content together because I'm going to do something. She's going to do so the feet. Video content. She's going to do all the fans for feet. feet. No, it's not only fans. You said only fans for feet. Yeah. No, it's not only fans. Just first for of all. feet. No. Right. We'll do a foot locker only fan. I'm gonna do I'm gonna do all my headstands. Look, see? Your headstands? Like pussy head popping on the headstand? My headstands. Head stands. What yeah. happened? What do you mean? You what put you put doing a headstand? Head I can't see that. Oh, I'm about to do it. Oh, I know I got a private show. I'm about to just do them live, like you see. You, you gonna do that? You better have Of course. Yes. D you pussy popping on the handstand. <laughs> oh man, come on now, D. No, I'm not. I have clothes on. Hello. Bubblicious hokum. Fuck y'all, dog. Don't hate. I wore this shit. As soon as I saw this motherfucking K go, I was like, ooh, that bitch, that pink motherfucker I got is all nigga. All the players Can we came. please see the shoes? Boy, boy, I forgot Can about them please? motherfuckers. Ugly ass. Ooh, that bitch. Oh, no, hold on, hold on. Oh, shit, he about what? to hurt himself. Oh, God. I can't, I can't. <laughs> if you don't get this, <laughs> boy, the motherfuckers look like oh, the motherfuckers look like the hallway of a crazy house. You don't get them ugly ass shoes, boy. Hold on, motherfucker. Oh my god! Oh, don't get them. Hey, boy. Oh, boy. oh my god! <laughs> I'm an astronaut, kid. <laughs> <laughs> What's the name on them? Boy. Turn it to the side. NASA. Sunny. Them NASA boots. Nigga, you get them that there. What is that, Sunny? Sunny. Them Sunny and Shares. Your ugly boots. Man, I don't know what that is. I stepped on. Is that a B? <laughs> it's a B, ain't it? No. You should. Wait, but it was made in Portugal. You looking up the name? DB looking them up. <laughs> Look them up, D. Ugly boot, boy. Somebody say moist three stacks. They say, I think I think I seen pink foxes boots like that. <laughs> <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> Where he at? I ain't seen him in a long time. I ain't seen that nigga. That nigga probably he got probably that. He probably mad motherfucker at your ass. <laughs> hey man, I ain't got nothing against pink fox, man. <laughs> I know. You, <laughs> man, let me show you some. Y'all finna show you what kind of nigga I am, Marcus. Just so you know. He said, them Dr. Evil boots. <laughs> he do look like some. <laughs> <laughs> do look like Austin uh, Power boots. You got them Austin Power boots. That's what it is. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. Get in my belly. Okay. <laughs> Get in the car, Irv back with his goof ass. Uh, damn, okay. I wish I could motherfucking find this shit. It had like a letter on the side, and I can't tell what that letter is. You want to see it? Yes. Hold on. I think it's sunny. No, but it's got like a little extra added thing right there. What? Be careful, D. You can turn them upside down because them probably stink on the inside. No, they I'll not. keep my feet clean, homie. Sunny. They sunny. Made it portal. Sunny. Yeah. I'm going to show you something. I'm trying to do this on the show because I want you to know I'm a 100 nigga. I can't find it. Hold on. God damn, I wish I could see this. I want to show Marcus this shit so Marcus could see I be 100. These right here, Sunny, the Sunny Sunny, them $750 from Saxville. Are they the. What store, what, what store I get them from? Saxville. Fifth Avenue. Yeah, where you got them? He's a fool. He's a fool. They got them in black too and brown. Uh, you gonna get your pair? Hell no. Nah. Did you see how high they are? You see them, them motherfuckers cold. Them like, you know how these, shoes. I got the flare bottom pants on, right? So you gotta wear shit like that. Y'all motherfuckers don't understand. This is a weapon. I can't find this shit. Work out with that one. What? Oh my God. What were you looking for? I wanted to show Marcus some shit. Damn. Yeah, you that's 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 what uh you are them motherfuckers when you finna do some uh what you call that shit when them girls had them whips? What? Oh <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, do some DSM. What do you call it? BDSM, BDSM shit, boy. You wear them boots, boy. That's what the bitches have on they about to whip a nigga with the with that whip. Come here, Corey. I can't find it. I was what? gonna show you some shit. I had that shit ready for next week's show. 
Show you the type of real motherfucker I am, boy. <laughs> I be looking out for motherfuckers, man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Motherfuckers be sending me information. I don't be on that sucker shit that much. <laughs> that much? He says that much. Just clear I can't that up. find it. Fuck it. Bubblicious Hokum. Y'all motherfuckers keep saying the same ones, goddammit. Oh, no, he was just repeating what somebody said. Mm -hmm. Pink Pastor, Corey looking like the Pink Panther. Mm -hmm. I ain't fucking, man. Mm -hmm. Let me tell y'all motherfuckers mm -hmm. something, man. This is a beautiful, beautiful day. Mm -hmm. California mm -hmm. been raining so hard. Mm -hmm. um, they not ready for this type of rain. Uh -uh. So it's flooding. California ain't ready for it to be wet every day outside. Not that much. So Sacramento, what happened in Sacramento? Do y'all hear about that? Which mm -hmm. one? It was like considered a disaster area or something like that. Like flat out, it was like shit flooding. Like There's a lot of areas. It was bad. Like yeah. Damn. I know out here in LA, um, Size of the freeway, canyons and things down. like yeah. that, uh, having mud slides. Like, for all my people in Chicago who may not understand this, like, you ever seen that movie, um, Lethal Weapon 3, where that house was on the side of the hill, mm -hmm. and they used the truck to yank it out? Out here, they got literal houses built on the side of hills. So when it rained, the <clears throat> mud make it where the house would be like, <laughs> mm -hmm. dead ass. Slide down. Your motherfucking whole house slide down. Fucking hill with other houses. On you there. see what I'm saying? Nigga, it's a like, house just landed on my house. Nigga, that house dropping. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga. So out here, it's frozen. It's right. cold, man. They can handle the chilliness a little bit because you can get some heat. But when that water be coming down Ooh, out here, boy, prepared. this town fall apart. Yeah, we see people. Did you see people hydroplane? They turned around. Their cars are reversed. It's That's crazy. why I, I don't want to live in the hills, man. This is what happened, y'all. Sometimes them big ass rocks fall, and they be the size of backpacks and and speakers and shit like that. People Speaker, don't yeah. see them and run right into the rocks and tear a whole car. Last night it was some people stuck in the mud on. It's this thing called Laurel Canyon. It's a hill you go up. Cuts right through the center. Homie, I I was in that big, I got that big ass trend up. You dig what I'm saying? Man, them motherfuckers just don't know how to drive, man. Because I drove through that motherfucker yeah, too. Yeah, just take Marcus, it easy. Marcus, you used to drive a truck, right? Yeah. So you wise to how to maneuver. Right, right, right. Man, these people out here be stuck in the mud. It was some. It was Thank a dude trying God. to shovel the car out from the mud. I was oh, laughing. Lord. I was oh, like, my God. Boy, it's going that. But I'm just saying, you could have. Can I give people some advice? Okay. Don't get out the car when you see somebody fucked up. Look at them. If they say something, be like, <laughs> I'd be like, you good? You good? You got a phone? You go. Right, because they going to say, if you, if you see somebody in a car that ran into a ditch, them motherfuckers going to be like, he ran me into the ditch. You go, motherfucker, I was trying. I helped you. Mm -hmm. Police going to be like, let's see your ID. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it's a cold world. Mm. What that? What's that name? XO the MC. Somebody say XO the, the MC say I'm dressed like a first degree burn. That's what I'm <laughs> he thought of that. I had a bitch who gums was just like this. Oh, oh, she was probably pretty hell. That's pretty pink. Yeah, she had mm -hmm. pink ass gums. Them gums. It had a little bitty black line in it where God tried to let it go right, but he was like, I don't feel like making that shit right. Just let the bitch gums. You don't smoke. Yeah, like a, a peel scalp. Who's about that? Scab. That's Toxic Avenger, boy. Oh, that is. Why y'all oh, asleep? Oh, that's who uh, Toxic look like. What, the girl I showed you that oh, time? Oh, no. The girl that who? That showed you that time we was talking about ugly folk? Who? You remember I showed you that picture? She was like, yeah, that's an ugly motherfucker. Because you, you, you compare the... Uh... I remember that happened. I just don't remember the face. Oh, yeah, boy. Somebody said I got on some Diana good, Ross man. boots. Fuck y'all. Yeah. No, they said Ike. Like I can think turn. Yup, he Ike would have had some of them on. B B C C. Anyway, <laughs> they got the look him boots. boots, nigga. <laughs> look him. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. Want to rumble with the B, huh? Look at that, nigga. <laughs> Steve Mayfield, you are funny as hell, Corey. Hey D. Hey. That nigga ain't speak tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> no, sometimes they leave us out. I see. Corey that. dressed <laughs> like a band aid. Fuck y'all. The gingivitis. Corey dressed like gingivitis. <laughs> Corey got on some Mary J. Blige That's boots. That's perfect. Yup, Mary J. Blige boots. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> hell no. My boots are <laughs> <are> like that. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> that one cool we got on I right can. now. <laughs> <laughs> Get him, mate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. And they got some bad bitch boots on, nigga. Puss in boots. Fuck y'all. <laughs> oh, that's right. The little kitty cat. <laughs> With the deep voice. <laughs> <laughs> look, somebody say, you only got a boot look like mine up oh there. Oh, my God. John Withers, <laughs> boot boots. Rest in peace. Rest in peace. Big shout out to all the people who take the time out to try Uh-oh. to invade the chat room with sucker shit. Saucy Santana. <laughs> somebody say, Corey Boots got wheels. Oh, not the Mary Jane girl. <sighs> yeah, Mary Jane girl. <laughs> Stop. Love them and leave them. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> uh, D, we selling them pants I on Yeah. Outside. I mean, you've had them up for a minute. A couple in of people buy them. They're in pink and they're in this color. And they're in denim. They crazy looking, huh? Like they got the, the pull. They got lap. Like, they pulled. Yeah, yeah. people, people got to see them to understand. Oh. Uh-uh. Sell them. I wasn't prepared for that, but. Put them at half price. They can't see how they look, D. They oh, gotta, I'm they not. gotta, they look at it. <laughs> <laughs> no, they've got, they've got, oh, this one. They've yeah. got like, like, it's like elastic and they're pulled. Corey outfit, medium well. Fuck yeah. And they've got like, it, the, the last Johnson brother like, boots. I know what you're talking about. Just, That's an old nigga said that. He just tooted it up. For <laughs> Saucy hoka. I did not. Some people like that. Not really, but I didn't. Anyway, yeah, these have been up there. And then we got them in blue jeans. I want everybody to know that's coming to the show on um, Friday. I'm going to be looking like motherfucking a West Coast Coast pimp or something like that. I'm going to wear some shit like this. West Coast or uh, West Coast pimp. I'm going to do West Coast pimp. DJ Quick type shit. Oh, shoot. That's quite different. Mm-hmm. Marcus, get your truck driver <laughs> face ass up out of here. I'm gonna put on in here. I think them girls be up there. <laughs> Thank you. That's so sweet. If Bluto was a pimp, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> so what did it say in the blue? Wait, wait, I didn't see it. What my man say? He said, Do you believe in life after love? Sure, boo. <laughs> Do you believe in life <laughs> after love? <laughs> What's this name? Slum Villa. That's a good one. <laughs> 313 Detroit. What up, baby? Fuck all y'all niggas, though, dog. I like his glasses. They look like the ones they wear when they basketball. That look like what the dude you brought to the show from Detroit. I brought a guy from Detroit? What are you talking about? Yeah, you brought a guy from Detroit to the show. Where? When? Wait, to what show? 5150 show. Where? Here? Uh, in the studio? Yeah. From Detroit. From Detroit. Fat boy. Was drunk. Then was talking shit about us. Wait, what? I am I'm so... I'm going to know. What? No, before my Wait, time. was it back in the... Was it back in the um, downtown? No, in the studio over there in the, in the uh, storage. You know, like, B, you, you got to be joking. You remember the guests you brought from Detroit? And they got drunk from Detroit. Oh, oh, yeah, no. Oh, no. The memory Oh, ain't. no. Sure. He wasn't drunk. We weren't even drinking. But, no, I, I know exactly you're talking Somebody about. Somebody say Flame gave Corey them boots. Fuck yeah. <laughs> I dress I dress weird sometimes, man. I'm... She's all right. <laughs> that girl's all right with me. Yeah. Hey, 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 hey. hey. Thick James in the building. <laughs> who in the, who? Thick James. Thick James. Thick James. Man, Corey. fuck y'all, man. We should wrap this pussy ass show up. Y'all see, I got my little 5150 chain. I'm proud of this motherfucker, uh, dog. Yeah. He dig what I'm saying? Lay away a cold game, baby. <laughs> you pray, pray, pray that Somebody you say, make stand it up, right. Corey. Hell no, mm-hmm. I ain't about to show all this meat off, nigga. Yeah, do it, do it, do it. <laughs> Hey man, somebody want to plug something before we get the fuck up out of here? I, my show been plugged. God damn it, we coming to Dallas. My man next door got the restaurant, motherfucking um, drinks and um, 
I forgot the name of the restaurant that's right next door to that theater. He want me to do a show there. I'm gonna do a musical show there. Drinks and, I mean, drinks and, man, what the fuck? Anybody, why am I blanking on my man restaurant? It's dope ass restaurant. All the niggas be up in there who like some little upscale shit. Drinks and, drinks yeah. and, drink cocktails and some shit. Damn, he's changing the name all over. <laughs> I'm fucking the name up. Somebody live there? Who lives there? Somebody from Dallas know what I'm talking about right next to the uh, theater. What's the name of the theater again? Majestic Theater. Majestic Theater. It's like downtown area. You know what I'm saying? Even though I ain't staying downtown. Fuck that shit. Them motherfuckers, boy. Ooh, it's going too fast. Uh, drinks and something. Anyway, I'm going to do a show up in there, man. The owner been trying to get me to do a show in there. I'm going to do a 5150 musical show in there. Hmm. Y'all motherfuckers, I'm, I'm gonna get y'all to come down, fly y'all down. We're gonna do a 5150 show oh, there the show. and have musical guests. Okay. Right. Not mad at that. You know, I'm down like the ground. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Let's pull that off in like, what's this? <clears throat> January, February, March. Early March or April. I'm gonna set it up. Okay. okay. We're gonna do the 5150 show down there on a Tuesday night, and we gotta get a musical guest that's, that's bona fide. I don't know who we gonna get. Might get the homie too short. Yeah. You get a Might couple get, of people. Yeah. Change, switch it up and have a bunch of people. Have a rapper, I want a singer, singer. though. Yeah. yeah. Kitchen say. and cocktails. Who a singer? Kitchen and cocktails. That's it. My homie run that restaurant. He'll be at the show. Thanks, it's right Sal next door. Three. It's going to be dope. 319. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it'll be fire right there. Kitchen and cocktails. Yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? It's like shit. I might have that motherfucker. I'm going to let him. I'm going to let him cater the green room. Oh, there you go. Good idea. I pay the money. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, um, yeah but we're going to do a show down there, man. We're going to do a 5150 show down there. Um, I, I want to get a, I want to get a singer that don't nobody expect me to be able to get. Of course, Jill Scott, I can't afford her. She had to do it on love. But I know, see, Jill Scott bring them out. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I motherfucking. You are, think about the Dallas singer. Erica Badu live in Dallas. Erica Badu? You better come to me. Yeah. We can get El Jabari. Yes, there you go. No, he's already bailed up. Do you know El Jabari's D? No, but I know people that know him. I mean, I'm just saying, like, if El Jabari is the type of motherfucker that is like a a a, a real cool cat, yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying. Never heard anything bad about. I want to bring a singer down there with us. Somebody we can sing and act a fool. Aaron hasn't performed in ages, and that would be ball. You think Aaron, where Aaron come? Aaron Hall? Yeah. yeah, Aaron Hall. Oh, that's my boy That's now. the homie. That's what I'm saying. I miss you. See? <laughs> come on, Marcus. I'm talking to you, baby. baby. He was an inspiration I to you, miss right? I you. Yeah, yeah. I knew you could make it without him. Mine is I like, because I dance yeah. to that. I'll chop What'd you say, Phil? Hey, girl. <clears throat> oh, a lot oh, of oh, Kelly. Yeah. He talking about Kelly. Art, yeah. Of R. course, Kelly, yeah. yeah, we remember them days when that happened. Everybody, yep. That was my yep. shit right there, boy. You know, R. Kelly yeah. probably watched Guy doing their thing, and he Hell stole, yeah. I mean, well, he 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 mimicked the style a little bit. Then mm. he found himself and started, you know. Wait, you're going to be in Houston this weekend? Or right. Dallas? Dallas. Oh, dang. Guess Why, what's, what's happening in Houston? Kane will be there because the New Jack, um, you bullshit. the New Jack City uh, concert, I mean, play is going to be there. Oh, and I might get jumped on if I go there. <laughs> and then after, that's that promoter that, that, that fucked us out that paper. That's the whole weekend in Houston, January 13th to the 14th. Now and, I'm really going to go. And, mm-hmm. oh, they're all the way to the uh-huh. 15th. They have they have afternoon performances at three. I you might go. Corey, you already know Kane gonna want you to go. We should send him a message. Don't let Kane know I'm gonna be there now. And then the next following weekend, everybody, just so you can support the brothers, every the, the guys that are in it, Tretch, you know, Ellen Payne, all of them, Big Daddy Kane, friend of the family. They're gonna be here at the Orpheum Theater in L.A. So if you want to get Charlie tickets, Wilson off. Somebody said somebody ripped Charlie So if you want to check out the New Jack City play, they're going to be here. Oh, they're going to be in Dallas on the 3rd of February. Okay. Houston, though, they'll be next weekend. Oh, that's great. L.A., I'm going to go. Somebody said get precise. (laughs) 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 You said that. He said, I see. Look, man, I'm going to just say this, man. I ain't mad at precise no more. He said all that punk shit. But... You know what I'm saying? I don't be holding grudges for real, man. I hope that man get his shit together. 
and quit perpetrating like he got a house and he bossing. Like, nigga, come on. Homie, I ain't got no hate against that man, dog. God damn it, he just be perpetrating a little bit. He did. I mean, Corey got Mary J. Blige budget money. Shit, I wish. I need somebody who's going to work with us and realize this man got another club in Chicago. Somebody, we could turn this into something. 5150 mm -hmm. on the road. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I just got to motherfucking have, mm -hmm. I got to have a singer that I know is worth it. Whoever it is, I don't care who you bring with you, your boyfriend, your girlfriend. <laughs> These singers be fucking. Anyway, all Corey friends, dope thing. Fuck y'all. <laughs> what? So as we wrap it up, tomorrow, Marcus got mainstream going on, got them. Yeah, 6 o'clock, M-A-N-E-S-T-R-E-A-M, mainstream. Tap in with me, man, 6 p.m. Pacific. You know, talking that shit. You too. You know Marcus. All right, man. Let me tell you, I'm motherfucking something, man. Every motherfucking week is a good week. What they say, D? Uh, get little Romeo. Say it. Get little, get little Romeo. <laughs> That's terrible. Who said that? What about that one nigga who looked like the Cleveland Emmy in old single? He's a singer. The little short dude. He looked like who? The Cleveland <laughs> Indian symbol. Oh my God, he I was, don't know why I think I know who you're talking about, but I love him. He was on Wilding Out with us, dude. Lloyd. Lloyd. I love Lloyd. <laughs> Lloyd oh good, God. though, right? He is great. <laughs> Lloyd is great. Yeah, that would be, that would be. Lloyd is good. Out. Somebody say, Brittany Griner can sing. Go and get, go and get old Jack My pussy fall from the ground. <laughs> <laughs> look at, look at, you know what? Stop with that. Leave Genuine alone. <laughs> oh, genuine. nigga, that's what you really did. Boy, that'd be the shit if we could get genuine in there. With dancing, that head please. that look weird now. <laughs> <laughs> you can't even do it. Look, you moving your whole body. Y'all got the same size head, but it look like. <laughs> <laughs> I love Lloyd. <laughs> yeah, Marcus. <laughs> <laughs> I had my boy on uh, uh, episode last week, uh, Cole. Who? Oh. Louis Bell. Right, comedian? Uh, Louis Bell Kane? Yes, mm -hmm. Lloyd is great. It was a good episode, really good episode. I got to get Louis on one of these shows, man. Look, bro, I fuck with him, man. I got respect for him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, healthy guy. Somebody say, Ray J. These motherfuckers coming up oh with some of the craziest God. singers in the world. Mm -hmm. They say, Aerie Spears could sing. To the police? <laughs> 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 Corey got his boots from Chuck Berry. Oh, good one. That's where I've seen him before. Who was Jaguar Wright? Oh, she's good. She's a singer? Yeah. What's she singing? I don't remember the name of the songs off the top of my head, but she's a singer. Yes. Tevin Campbell will come up there. Oh, God, I love me some Tevin. Mm. Hey, Tevin. What would Tevin say if he met, um, you know, Marcus? Can we sweat? That ain't it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Motherfucker, we about to wrap this pussy ass show up. God damn it, I got on my pink shit. Stanky Pinky! 5150 in the motherfucking house. Nigga putting dick in your motherfucking mouth. And I got a nigga on the side from the south. Marcus Hell just said, fuck it, I'm out. Hey, fuck what he talking about. Get these holes in the mouth. Ready? D can't see if she looking south. That nigga Corey dressed like a couch. <laughs> <laughs> fuck it. All right, y'all. 5150. Um, oh, let me see something. I ain't gonna do it. No, don't do it, Corey. What? He look like he about to pop lock any second now. He about to, <laughs> about to do some pop locking. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, <laughs> fuck it, man. Get it, Corey. Get it. Y'all know what's up. We gonna get it, y'all, next get week. 5150 in this motherfucker. Thanks for right. fucking with us. You yeah. did. Happy New Year again. Ah. We can see.
stuff up. Hold on. I, I had to, I had to tuck mm -hmm. in this thing. Are we back on? For everybody who on, I just want y'all to see that dick shot right there. Oh my God. Yeah, dick. That's the zipper. Hey,